And there's the opening of episode number 48. We are the Off-Center Archers. I'm Anthony. Hey, and this is Stephanie. Hey, what hey. the is it, the fucking female version of Fonzie? Hey. <laughs> so, all right, so this episode, really, there's not going to be much that we have planned here. It's going to be more of a bullshitting uh, type of episode mm-hmm. of what's going on, what's going to be coming up here soon. Just random shit. And uh, me cursing out Dougie this week. So. Oh, here we go. It was fun. It's all in fun now. I cooled off after about 15 minutes, but uh, he knows I don't like getting fucked with. And he knows I'm going to bring this up any goddamn way because he was like, I'm going to look forward to hearing you cursing me out. Why, why, why? Whatever. It's fucking shark week for you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, <coughs> basically, Doug was fucking with me. Just I'll just go right into that real quick. And uh, Doug asked, Doug's good at asking 100 questions about stuff. And I don't mind, but it was... Uh, you know, bow after bow after bow after bow of uh, what about this one? And then what about that one? And then what about this one? And they happened to order a sling from Stephanie for Doug's bow that he had already purchased, um, which kind of set me off the handle because he had ordered it a couple of days before. Meanwhile, the day before he was texting me for like, I don't know, three hours straight of what about this bow? And then what about that bow? And s- yeah, so he wanted to, his whole idea was that he found the bow that he wanted, he, I guess he really liked, and then he bought it. But he bought all the accessories to go with it. So his whole idea was, is that he was going to say, send you a picture of, look what I bought with, with everything on it. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like uh, Christmas. You don't give the the kid the bike in the box still. You still have to put together. You put it together so when they open it, they, they see the whole bike together. It's like, I'm Ooh. not getting the thing, though. That's his. That's the, yeah, I'm, I'm not that kid. It's, it's, not, it's not even a good fucking, <laughs> like, association. That, that's yeah, shit but, right there. No, it's a shit. That is shit. It's a shit. It's, uh, it's about the same thing. He was excited about it, but it wasn't I'm the, the broke kid who gets to watch the good was... kid get the fucking bike. <laughs> You're the, the kid at lunch that eating is. the apple, and he's the he's the one that has all like the the good snacks. Yeah, exactly. Like Reese's. And... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the fat kid who can't have the cake. You know, so. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that was the whole idea, and uh, and I knew about it, and I said I wouldn't say anything because it wasn't my you know my uh, place to say it. But they told <sighs> the wrong person because Stephanie can't keep shit quiet. <laughs> Yeah, but I did until he said that he was going to tell you. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. I no. Know when that. I when I said something, I didn't I didn't just blurt it out. He he actually said, "Okay, I'll, I'll tell him," and um, that's why I said it was Shark Week because when I got home, and I was I was going to say something, and he he was already trying to get a hold of you, but you were just no. I had already cursed him out by that point. Oh, okay. You had already told me, and that's when I was like, "You need to leave me the fuck alone for a little while," because yeah. right now I feel like punching you right in your fucking mouth. You know, that he bought this bow a couple of days ago and it's Wait, like me? him. Oh, not you, him. I'm not into that abusing the wife shit. There's only one kind of abuse and it happens between the sheets in this house. So, well, yeah, because if it goes the other way around, you'll be losing some parts. Exactly. That's fine. I'm not into that type of shit anyway. <laughs> slap you it's only ass slapping allowed in this house. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, folks. Too much, too much information there. But oh. anyway, at least, you know, it's that way. And I'm not the uh, most asshole. Are, most of the people listen to us are married and have kids. That is true. That is true. I hope. God, if you're letting your kids listen to us, I'm sorry. Well, someone is always someone's kid. Okay. The, the people who are our age, you know, the 35 <laughs> and 40 year olds. Whoa, you, you know. say you, you want to include yourself in the 35 No, I and... it's because you just turned 35, 35 and I am and 40. Am I 35? Yes, you are 35. Mm. I'm five and a half years older than you and I am on my crest to 41 here and you just turned 35. I feel like instead of turning 40, you turned 80. You're the guy yelling no, at all these kids to get off his lawn. <laughs> uh, who knows? But um, yeah, no, anyway, but you know, I, after a couple minutes, I cooled down, whatever. And uh, happy for Doug. He bought himself a 2018 PSE Supra in this sexy ass fucking blue. Um... Kind of went with our with our recommendation, actually technically your recommendation, because you're the one with the wick stick stabilizers. 
Yeah, I, so, I love my Wick stick. Right. And they're so, not sponsored. I mean, yeah. You know, I'll always take some free. Oh, yeah. No, that's, well, we're not sponsored by anybody. No, we're not, not. We're not. Whatever. No, we're not. Stable, we're not um, stabilizers. We're not. We're not stabilizers. <laughs> we're not stable neither. No. <laughs> uh, no, I got that thing and I love I love it. I absolutely love it. And man, right. their customer service is on ball. So that's like mm-hmm. that's like two stars for them. Absolutely. Two, yeah. And Doug went stars. with the matching. So he's got the carbon. He, he, he didn't go to the design on the actual tube of the stabilizer. So he has just just like yours the car. He liked the carbon shaft bare mm-hmm. look, but he's got the blue end caps to match his bow, blue and black weights, just like you have your green and black. Right. But he went with the full hunter kit. So he has a twelve inch front bar uh, with a quick disconnect on the front, and he also has the side mount bar, which I recommended he put on the back side of the riser, just way to get the bar as far back as possible. Right. And uh, he has an eight inch rear bar for right now. <laughs> so. You know, it's, which is good. Now he can set, the, you know, he can set the angle on the bar, and he every time he draws back, if he puts the bar in the correct spot and draws back the same way every single time, the bubble is going to go right into the center of the level. Um, which now will he, help. He said he's not really probably going to go hunting, though, right? No, this bow is for three D. He's. I think that's a, no, that's that, the main I knew reason. It wasn't going three D. Yeah, no, no, I that's the main reason that. he went with the supers, and he's he's going to get rid of his uh, stingers. Mm-hmm. He, he personally, he says to him, you know, he he's, doesn't know if he'll ever go hunting. Right. And right now he's all about just the target and the 3D events he's doing once a month. And he's having fun with it. So right. do what you think is going to work for you. Me, you know, we may need two bows each. Who knows? Because I plan on going hunting. Mine is so long. I don't need a target bow. That is a target bow. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's a hybrid. Well, for you, I mean, you, if from your Evolve 35 at your height, you'd have to get like an Evolve 28 to become a hunting bow. My, It's a, um, a hybrid hunter target. That's because you're five foot two. Yes. I'm on the cusp of um, dwarfism and no, you're normalness. you're not. That's 4'11". Your mate, your, your mate of honor was on that cusp yeah, she... <laughs> when we got married. Yeah, fucking she's, 13, um, 14 years ago. She was 4'12". I don't know. I think no, 4'11". 4'12 <laughs> is 5 foot, you fucking dodo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just caught myself that I saw that. Yeah. I must said that. She was 4'12". <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Same shit. It's 5 foot. You can still say 4'12". It's okay. the same it, shit. If it it's makes 12 you inches. feel better, you can say 4'12". It's still fucking wrong, but it's It's like saying 60 inches. Yeah, but that's when you're referencing inches. <laughs> I'm referencing feet and inches. I just carried it over. Yeah, you just fucked up. <laughs> four, foot, so, four, four foot 13 inches. Four foot 13 inches now. <laughs> now she's five foot one. No, I'm four. I'm, uh, I'm 414. 414, yeah. I'm 414. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, you'd, you'd have to go to a shorter bow. Which I mean, now that they released the Evolve Twenty Eight, you technically could do it. I'm, I got like my thirty five. <laughs> thirty five. Yeah, I know, but I mean, <laughs> but we should start referencing the, the recent pictures that Stephanie has been posting <laughs> wait, on wait, wait, Instagram. Wait. We should reference it in in centimeters now. No, we're not going to 35. because you, you can't even get control of the English measurements. <laughs> Never mind the, the butchering you're going to do of metric. So let's not even bother trying that bullshit. So, um. But yeah, I mean, you with the 35, you'd be able to literally throw a 24-inch stabilizer on the front, use your 12 as your rear, mm-hmm. and that's it. You'd have a target bow. Yeah. And then you could set up, you know, just like I said, now that the Evolve 28 is out, you know, that would be like perfect for someone your height going to hunt. Even my height. I mean, Jesus Christ, the thing goes to a 30-inch draw on a 28-inch bow, just like the uh, the Matthews Triax does. Well, yeah, they wanted to make it more compact. Right. Which is fine because it's uh, when you're you're trying to be mobile in like mm-hmm. a tight space, especially when there's a lot of foliage. Right, right, right. And uh, I like that word. Foliage. Foliage. Uh, or going Fuck up that. a tree. Just shoot a fast a tree ass stick. bow and watch your shit shoot through the trees, just like my arrows. No, do. but when you're if you're um, either stalking and or trying to get to your tree stand without yeah, yeah. being you know all over the place, it's it's less. Of a, a span, I should say. Yeah, well, it's it's less. It, you're reducing your risk of coming in contact with shit. Right. So that was. I know. I I, I read somewhere in it, mm-hmm. on one of the million friggin' articles that they have out now. Well, that that was a huge thing about the Triax when it mm-hmm. first came out. It was like, oh, it's 28 inches, you know, and fucking, it's this 28 inch bow with these fucking massive cams on it. Right. 
It's a really the bow. It's still a 32 inch fucking bow because it has these enormous fucking cams. But brace height is 28 and not 32. Right. So, uh, you know, it, when you look at the Matthews Halon 32, I mean, if, if effectively, like string angle wise, it's actually like 34 and a half inches because of the string angle because the cams are so damn large. Oh, uh, yeah. But the Triax, I mean, it, I think it brings it up to like 31 and a half because of the string angle, which is still fine. But being in a more compact package and whatnot, and it's like it's like we said in you know, one of the episodes that it's... If you're aiming on an angle, it's less possibility of hitting a twig or something because it's right. less. It's not as big of a bow. Yeah. So. Unless you have some big ass flippers you're walking with, then you're fucked all around. Yeah. Well, it also depends on what you're hunting. You know, it, it, it's like uh, like there's this big thing on a, a lot of the videos, and they actually show how true it is for people who hunt like moose. Moose. Everyone's like, oh, I gotta be quiet. Gotta fucking moose are loud as fuck. If you hear them walking through the trees, they're just pummeling everything they walk through yeah and they literally tell everyone don't be quiet when you're hunting moose be loud as shit because then they think it's another moose walking through the woods they're not going to think a human's being fucking loud step on twigs break them then they think it's going to be another big ass animal doing that type of Could shit you imagine me standing next to a moose i'd be like at the kneecap yeah cause you're... <laughs> <laughs> if they took a shit it would literally land on my head Possible, yeah, yeah, it definitely would. Yeah, they can, well, their legs are long as uh, most car roofs. I mean, let me see. Well, yeah, that's why they say if you hit a moose, mm-hmm. you're most it's you're fucked because they you take their legs yeah, out. They had a top of their body caves the car in. Mm-mm. But uh, anyway, uh, so back to Doug real quick. He went with the uh, Wick Stick Stabilizers Hunter Series for now. It's just so he can get used to the stabilizer setup of having a front and rear bar. Eventually, he is going to switch out to either a 24 or a 30-inch front bar. At that point, he is going to take his 12-inch bar and then move it to his rear location, which is fine because then he'll basically have your normal standard target setup. Um, For right now, he transferred the sight that he was using that we sent him, the uh, uh, Archer Extreme driver single pin with a .010 pin. That is now on the... um, the super, sorry, I'm like losing track of stuff. There's so much crap moving around. So, but that boat, that site is on there temporarily just for this week. He actually ordered a Sherlock site. It's the more, you know, I'm just getting into target shooting target site from Sherlock. Good price. I think he got it for $130 something dollars shipped. So that's going to replace the driver. And he's going to end up sending the, uh, the Archer Extreme driver back to us because he's not going to use it anymore. Uh, and as of right now, he is using a QAD Hunter uh, arrow rest. Just because it's, I had an extra one sitting here. This way he didn't have to rip the stinger apart and whatnot, so I sent him that arrow rest. So that's what he's using for right now, but eventually he's going to switch the arrow rest out, become 3D compliant. I guess he's going to go with a drop-away blade-style arrow rest. Probably something from AAE, because that's the one I would personally go with. Uh, and then he'll have his Sherlock site, and if he wants, eventually he can upgrade the Sherlock site, maybe to that new nasty carbon one that uh, Levi and uh, Dudley himself helped Sherlock produce. So, what's the matter? No, I got the um, the moose height. at uh, An adult at the shoulder, they, they can range from 4.6 to 6.9 feet. That's at their shoulder. So it's not counting, you know, um, wherever their head, you know. So his shoulder joint is at your face is what you're trying to say. Yeah. I thought they were taller than that. Well, that shoulder, that's not their body and then their head on top of all that shit. You know, and then a hundred pound worth of antlers on their head. Screw that. It's a big ass animal. Yeah. I mean, look at your average elk is like, you know, 1,200 pounds or a thousand pounds fully, uh, you know, guts and bones and horns and everything. Well, shit, for a, a bison, it says 8.2 feet. A bison is taller. No. That's what I was saying. It says height, 8.2 feet. Maybe to the top of their head. 3,500 pounds. Yeah, well, they're gigantic. 3,500 pounds. It's, it's a fucking buffalo. It's Holy a, shit. No, you, like, you, you know that they're big, and they're, you know they're massive. But mm-hmm. then when you actually read their their weight, well, it's like, whoo, there's a comma in there? Jesus fucking Christ. Look, shoulder height. Wow, 3,500 pounds? Look, you know what that's like? You know, 186 centimeters. Huh? A what? 
<laughs> American bison to 186 centimeters. Let's bring oh, in those centimeters. No, that's not we're bringing taking the it centimeters. Back. No, we're not taking it back. <laughs> Doug's going to catch that reference. Um, <laughs> but uh, could you imagine that 3,500 pound animal? I mean, my God, that, that you're fucking ramming, it, ramming into a standing still Honda Civic. That is... Yeah. Except they, when you hit them, they have blood that goes everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. There's, a, there's different species of bison, so I don't know. Um, I just followed a link from the moose. But okay. that, you know, that's got to be something. I got to start looking at this stuff. Because I'm really into all the, uh, like, um, the nature channel. Not the nature channel, but like the... Uh, I don't even know what to fucking call it. Like Discovery and right, National right. Geographic and all that shit. Mm-hmm. When they do it about the um, all those animals and shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I like watching that. So I gotta, I gotta look in that. We gotta do like a um, uh, environment, like a not environment, a uh, an animal like episode. Like go through all of like the the hunted species. Okay, in the area. that's fine. Especially Just here in the U.S. Yeah, I mean, on, everyone on, knows. On. Like if you're on the east side of the country, it's fucking white tails everywhere. Yeah, but I, I mean, one of the states, um, shit, Alabama is like you're allowed to kill one white tail a day. That there's so fucking many of them. One of the I states, uh, Illinois or no, I think Iowa. it was Alabama. It was like one a day. It was another one, Iowa, where there's no tags on. There was one state where there's so many whitetail that there's no, you don't need to oh. tag. Yeah, I don't, no, it wasn't Idaho. Idaho's got a problem right now with wolves. And you're not allowed to kill them. Maybe it was white. T- I, I, I'm really sure. I'm pretty sure that one of the, or maybe it's up in Canada I'm thinking of. Might be. Might be British there's, Columbia. There's, there's so many of them. They're just, they're not, you don't need to tag them. Like you, you don't have a limit, I should say. That's what I'm saying. I think I think Alabama is like there's no tag, but they like have their requirement, if you want to call it. Yeah, uh, you still have to hit like certain guidelines. You can't just right. be killing. It's like they don't want to catch you with one person shit. with more than one deer a day, but like there's no tag required for it. Yeah. But could you? I mean, you'd never run out of food. <laughs> what does Rogan say about that? You realize they're like, you know. You're killing an animal. Do you, do you realize that animals fucking delicious? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone fucking eats them. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, you know, people don't they don't make the connection of that the you know animals actually die. You know, it, they just look at oh, it's so inhumane, and no, it, it's not inhumane for them well, to be put I, down quickly. Well, that, that, that I mean that that goes back to the conversa- like conversations I've had with members of my family. I mean, I. Well, well, one person, she's just very, like, envir- very environmentally friendly mm-hmm. and just asked me, because she has never hunted before, uh, why I hunt. And I told her, you know, it's it's basically, you know, you get food in the house. We we switched everything to grass-fed beef, and we switched to this, and we switched to that, try to make everything more organic. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that's going to be more organic meat-wise than if I go into the woods. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. Unless I go into the woods and I get that animal myself. There's no corn, there's no, the the animal's not fed just shit with a hundred fucking pounds of antibiotics in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that animal gets to freely graze, it gets to do what it's doing. You know, and and, and, then, well, what about, you know, you don't think it's cruel? Well, of course, you know, any part of aspect of hunting, you have to have some sort of remorse, but there all has to be, and then remorse, I think, a lot of times for your normal, like, well thought out hunter is because of the fact you know you killed something but it, it becomes like you kill the animal but you also have to be you know i don't know it's it's kind of hard to explain it's it's like i told her you know you look at a lot of the pictures you see from hunters that have hunted and i'm not talking about the oh look i'm holding the horns photo right like the ones in between a lot of times you're going to see hunters like kneeling down have to you know like petting the animal it's more of like you know that's where the remorse comes into play it's like sorry i had to kill you but you know you you're going to be substance for my family yeah but native you americans know? did the same thing they were grateful for everything that was given to them yeah yeah that is, that but they definitely were that's i mean they used a, everything they didn't waste more of an damn iconic thing. thing like an imagery people can put in their mind Maybe. Yeah, but that in casinos. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, no, but yeah, but the, the, I'm trying to word this the right way. Oh God, I, I mean, there there was one person that had mentioned to me like the tactics that people now have toward hunting, where it's like you're going for one animal, 
Native Americans ran their hunts like they were the butchers of fucking Bakersfield and they were running a hundred bison off a fucking cliff. So, you know, I mean, tactics back then were different. They well, the they hunted is, though, by herding animals into a dangerous location. And the animals so stupid they it doesn't have, stop. They didn't have the same things that we have now. They don't. Know. Yeah, but they were. They were. I mean, you, no, you got to think about it. You know, they were they were on running on foot or horseback. They were on horseback. Yeah, but you know, being on horseback, I, I don't think people on like, with a stick. With a sharpened stick. What do we do now? No, you can't compare the technology that you're shooting with now compared to Native Americans how many years ago. There's no way. How are you? No, I'm not it? saying the stuff now. Like if we were to go trad shooting, a wood bow is a fucking wood bow. It doesn't matter what you use. Right. So you know, they were using recurve bows, long. I'm talking bows. about the the compounds that are out there now. Yeah, but still, even with the technology we have now, we're going after one animal. One. You're not trying to kill a herd. These dudes were so on fucking point that they knew if they took horses and surrounded shit, mm -hmm. the animal would get spooked and follow the path of the horse just by the sound of the horse galloping. These fucking things would follow it. Well, and then they do, 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 a hundred of them off a fucking cliff. Well, when you got a village to feed. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, but it's... You know, things, I think things change when you don't have a grocery store down the road that you can go to. When you oh, start yeah. getting hungry yeah, yeah, yeah. and either your crops fail or you can't plant shit or maybe you just suck at growing vegetables, guess what? Well, you're going to be looking most for Most people don't things. know how to grow their own shit because they don't have it. I mean, you, you look at the majority of the population of the U.S. and they all live in cities. I yeah, mean, you but know. you know what? We can't really talk anyway because it, it's the... Um, the knowledge of just your random, like if you, you put us into a forest, I can't name all the plants in there. I can't, I can't name. Oh, I know, I know. It, it's still a disconnect. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, that, that's from where we grew up and everything like that. We didn't grow up in like country-wise, especially me. I grew up in New York City. No, I grew up in country. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Orange County in New York is still not the goddamn country. It used to be. It, well, no, it wasn't 20 years ago. It wasn't as congested. It's it, not country. No, well, I'm not saying it is country. I'm it's saying rural. It's, it's rural. It's rural. Rural. When you get to like past there, and once you get past Orange County and you get past Sullivan County and you start hitting like the real counties of fucking New York. Yeah, the rest of New York. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> once you get past like Roscoe on 17, mm -hmm. then you could call it country because everybody's property is 20 acres. Yeah, I know. You know. Upstate yeah. New York, real there's upstate. There's no yelling to talk to your neighbor. Just get in your car and or on your bike and drive down, ride down to their house. I don't know how people like that shit. What? Like you, you poke your head out the window and you're like, you can kind of high five your neighbor because the buildings in New York City oh, are oh, so I close. Oh, I think about the country wise. I'm like, what no, are you talking no, no, about? No, 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 no. I mean, living no, in the, you know, hey, you can ask for some milk leaning out the window and they can mm -hmm. just hand the cup to you. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, man. I know. I, I couldn't. I don't like congestion. Well, when we lived in Florida, I mean, I was doing electrical work. What was the gap between the two houses? Seven and a half feet, I think, was the building code. They were on top of each other. Right. I mean, it... Well, because it was developments, though. Yeah, it is. But, that, I mean, that's when you go to certain states and certain areas. It, it's all like that. You go to the Tampa area, it's like that. You go to Naples, it's like that. You go to fucking St. Augustine, it's like that. You go to fucking Miami, forget it. I mean, that's a different country. Yeah. <laughs> I speak Spanish so, and shit like that. Well, that's all the Cubans. Well, and then, you know, because we were watching the movie Twister before, you go out into, like, Kansas and Oklahoma and shit. You got land for days, but your your ass is getting picked up by a tornado and getting relocated. That's by so fucking... fucking F5 coming through. F5 coming... Yeah, see, this is what happens when people watch <laughs> movies like Twister. F6. Yeah, one movie shows, like, 14 <laughs> fucking tornadoes in one day. Well, shit doesn't happen. Well, what are they going to do for a movie? Show one tornado? Oh, oh okay, know, let's wait for the rest. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how much of a lame... I'm waiting for some fucking dumbass to think Sharknado is a fucking real thing. So. Oh, that's, that's you know, that's going to eventually happen. Like, dude, bro, the fucking water sprites are throwing sharks. You're a fucking crackhead. Are you kidding me? They could be a crackhead. It wouldn't shock me. I, don't know, I did a Californian <laughs> accent right there. Well, no, they don't have to be a crackhead either because... <laughs> Um, they're, uh, if they run a lot, how they say that when you run X amount of, you start to, being delirious. You start to actually hallucinate because your, your brain goes into shutdown mode anyway. You're supposed to be sleeping. So for it to catch up, it actually, it, it will actually go into REM sleep while you're awake still. 
Mm -hmm. and uh, you will hallucinate. Yeah, while you're awake. Yeah. It'll be like uh, Courtney, uh, Courtney DeWalter having yeah. rabbits and shit talk to you. Since she talks to him back. <laughs> That's fun. I That's guess great. it gives you something to do when you're running like 238 miles. You're naturally tripping balls the whole time while you're running. Hey, and if you know it and you accept it, you got friends to talk to the whole run. Oh, and actually, since we mentioned her, if you don't know Courtney. who she is, Courtney DeWalter. I keep what I call her. Kathleen? No. Carrie? Oh, did I? Okay, where? The key. Courtney DeWalter. If you don't know who she is, she is a ridiculous ultra runner. And and uh, by ridiculous, I mean like when she did the Moab 240. Mm -hmm. it it's was? 238 miles, but they they called it the Mo Moab, Moab 240. Right. She beat the second place contender by 10 hours. 10 hours. So, And if you really want to laugh, she was on Joe Rogan's podcast somewhere around right before episode 1000 or something like that, nine something. Yeah. But it's hysterical when Joe goes into his whole uh, <laughs> 10 hours shit. It's fucking great. <laughs> 10 fucking hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you could have. She runs with Cam slept Haynes, for eight, taken a shower, had breakfast, and still would have beat him. And then went back to the finish line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, she slept for like one minute. Yeah, and she thought she she woke up and she thought she had slept fell for out. hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, she said she woke up pissed off. Like, how could you let me? Because the people that I guess switched on and off with you throughout the run. Right. They. Uh, she thought he he let her sleep for longer than that and she you know he's like no you slept for a minute <laughs> but she's ready to go man i would love to be able to run that long no no are you I kidding mean, me nope nope I, i'm up to six that's fine <laughs> i'm up to like six blocks <laughs> i got six miles isn't a block a quarter of a mile or something like that each block no no it, uh Nate? by new york Stan new york city standards it was 10 blocks was a mile oh the standard New York City street was, like Manhattan, according to how they used to do it, was 10 blocks was a mile. Like Manhattan, where it's actually squared? Yeah, kind of, how they used to do the grid systems. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was like 10 blocks to a mile. No. So. I got six miles down that I run, so I'm not really quite there, but I'm, hey, I got to yeah, start right now, somewhere. You, you're doing all your running to get rid of the baby weight. Mm, yeah. So. But I would like to. I would like to keep running after that. No, so keep running. I, mean, I would never say stop it. You know, at two hundred maybe. Jesus hey, that's, Christ! Dude, that's all your. That no, <laughs> I'll drive next to you. <laughs> you know, uh, well, hold on I, to the mirror, babe. We'll make you go faster. Yeah, right. Yeah, run my ass over. <laughs> Just skip. Just <laughs> hold on to the mirror and skip. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but man, they they say that because uh, Cameron Haynes and we mention him all the time on here. He does beast those, mode himself. Dude, he does ultras and he lifts weights and he shoots every day and he's an you know an avid hunter and he he does a lot of shit and he holds down a full time job and I mean he runs like a marathon a day, yeah. like bricked out into sections. But oh, yeah, it's like three parts. He runs, a, um, but he runs a marathon a day. Dude, that's like a lot of... He sleeps like three hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah, yeah. perfectly healthy. He's one of those guys that hears the uh, the sleep therapist on a podcast. It's like, screw that guy. He doesn't yeah, know what the fuck he's talking about. I could sleep three hours a day and run a marathon a day, plus have a real job. Yeah. That, well, he, he was saying, and he posted pictures of his feet, too. And it, they say your feet swell up to like a size and a half. Larger. Larger. Mm -hmm. And it's like bleeding, and they say at like 50, mile fifty that there's the the pain that starts to kick in. That well, he said I think he did say in one of the podcasts that he was on that by the time he does like the Moab or the one he did before that, the two hundred, um, that he had gone through five pairs of sneakers. It's like every forty miles or fifty miles, he puts a fresh, brand new pair of sneakers on. Because if you run. think about it, the average sneaker is supposed to trek how many miles? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And then you're adding like your your the lifetime mileage to what in a day, mm -hmm. two days a week. I mean, that's the the shoe is like, what the fuck are you doing? He's probably screaming at you. But I, but they also said, oh, there's another one I was listening to. He mm -hmm. does. He did a hundred miles with an average pace of the seven minutes per mile. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? He said, well, that we guy... 100 miles in like 11 hours. Yeah. It was fucking insane. Mm -hmm. And um, he said that people, when he goes to other uh, marathons, 
like shorter ones to kind of um, practice for his yeah. hundred. <laughs> he um, practiced his warm up is a marathon. And um, no, not a marathon, like fifties. Oh, okay, still an ultra. Yeah. So uh, he said that people would show up barefoot. Like these guys run barefoot. Toughen your marath- feet up. What I the guess. fuck? I don't know. Well, um, then they get to the uh, severe doomsday preppers where they're like, well, what if you were at a point with, where you didn't have shoes? Like, you need to get your feet ready for that situation. And they got like an inch worth of callus on the bottom of their feet. They could like run through a canyon. You've never heard of these guys? No. Okay. So like doomsday preppers. Remember I watched all the shows about doomsday preppers? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, some of them, they they prep for like the what if scenario right and these are guys that that do this uh ultra running right barefoot the, mm-hmm. some of them are also the uh well you need to get your feet ready for if you circumstance that what if you don't have shoes right. what if the world ends and you run out of shoes and you don't have shoes and you have like the soft ass feet you need to have you need to be prepped for like no shoes yeah these are the the, the... nah <laughs> fuck that <laughs> Fucking some soft ass feet. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I can't. I can't even step on a pebble. Fuck, am I no. kidding? I so can't. if if you were out running a, a zombie horde and bare feet, and the other guy with the calloused feet was next to you, you're like, oh fuck, I'm going down. Because yeah, exactly. I'm he, dead. He just has to outrun me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna run by him, <laughs> kick him in the fucking knee, make sure he falls over first. <laughs> you gotta just pick someone, trip him, and then I'm like, ah, you got good feet, but your fucking knees are fucked up. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Eat rocks, dickhead. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, wait, did you ever finish with Doug before? Yes, I finished what he, everything that's on his oh, belt okay. right now. I was, uh, I know I had mentioned yeah, something, a, and then we kind of went off. On the, I don't know. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, because I mentioned the stabilizer. I mentioned his arrow rest. He's mm-hmm. using the uh, Archer Extreme sight. And that's Did he it for say right how far he shot today, or he's still kind of like... No, he's just trying to wing it a little bit. I, I think he just said he did like 20 through 40 today or something like that just to okay. see how close it was and his right you know i told him the whole trick of put an arrow on the string right. and then make sure to get a general centering of your arrow mm-hmm. make your arrow line up with, with your riser bolts what your tension bolts for your risers mm. if you can line the arrow up straight through with the allen key section on those bolts, you get your general center point of your center shot. And he said his right to left was like nothing. Now, the um, the archery, the area that he shoots at, they mm-hmm. actually have a pro shop on property. Or does the pro shop that he goes to off property? Like, is it no, different No, I think one? today he literally went to Bass. Because oh. he knows the, the tech at Bass, I believe. And he went there to for, to have them put a dually. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. A dually? A dually, yeah. <laughs> is this is a fucking truck? He, he had a dually put on. He's got a fucking Ford. No, he drives a Mazda. Anyway, um, a D loop on and to have the. <laughs> you, got, the you got dually at a D loop. Yeah, yeah, I got dually at a D loop. Some fucking hell. Uh, I work on trucks for a living. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. So, he, but he had a D loop put on before I butcher that again. And a dilly dilly a loop. Dilly, a dilly dilly loop. Um, and he had, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he had the um, specialty <laughs> archery peep that I had given him put in with the verifier. And he he told me today, today when I spoke to him too, he was like, uh, yeah, the verifier to, is going to take a little bit getting used to. He's like, because I'm used to either the pin being completely clear mm-hmm. or the target being completely clear. And, ne- and Doug shoots with both eyes open. What the fuck? I can't do that shit. Uh, I, I figured out by watching a video of how you're supposed to look at things. No, 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 no. Because you remember that time when I was, uh, we were at Gander shooting uh-huh. and um, I went to go shoot. And I, I accidentally closed the wrong eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she closed your right eye. And so, but, uh, and he's like, I was like, oh, you know, why is it blurry? He's like, no, I could see the pin really, really clearly. And the target is much clearer than it normally is. I'm like, oh, well, that's what it's supposed to do, you know? Mm. They make several different lenses, so you can do a verifier one, two, or no, it starts at four, whatever, four, five, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, he said, yeah, it did help clear up the image. Now, how are you supposed to look with two eyes open? Because I can't. Oh, it's so hard to fucking explain. 
No, it's not. You, you like you yeah, pick a point no, and look at it. It or is. You... No, no, no. Because when you look with two eyes open, mm-hmm. you technically will see. Double. No, no, no. You see the target clear with both eyes. Yeah, but it's going to be from two different perspectives. No, it won't. No, 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 no. That's the problem. Is the, that when a lot of people try to shoot with both eyes open, they yeah. try to have both eyes look at the sight. And that's where you fuck up. No. Yes. No, I'm telling you no because I'm telling you no, I didn't. Okay. I actually tried look, having one look through the, the, the site. That's the problem. And you, then you, tried one to, look. <laughs> you tried to have your eyes crisscrossed like a fucking dodo. No, just one like lined up like it normally that. would be. Yes, yes. And then the other one looking. Right. But that's what I'm saying. What you're supposed to do is not supposed to try and make one eye look at this and one eye look at that <laughs> like a dumbass. Like a wandering eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the person next to you. You're like, where the fuck are you shooting? It's like the guy you're trying to talk to in Walmart about a TV and his left eyes and fucking CDs. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> tell me what you're trying to look at. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> tell me when you're looking at the Samsung. God, you know how many people are gonna fucking unsubscribe from this one? Oh god. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> but what you all right? So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to focus on the target, the the thing that is farthest away. Now, what most people don't notice is you will all of a sudden see two of your sight housings. That's what I said. I said you'll see double. That's yeah, but double. most people will try to focus on their sight, which is what causes you to see two targets. If you focus on the target, the second sight is actually hidden by your riser. No, that shit fucks me up. I, I, I'll, I'll show you the video. There's actually, a, if you search on YouTube, everybody, I mean, there's a video that actually shows that if you focus on the target, especially a far target, it's easy at 50 yards, 40 yards like mm-hmm. that, a farther one, that you see the target clearly through both eyes. But what you don't notice is, is that your left eye actually puts a second sight housing where your riser is. So it, it's... It, it hides a lot of stuff for you. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, I did it with my bow, and I'm like, son of a bitch. When I, because I, I purposely paid attention to what I was looking at. Right. And trying to see if I noticed the second side housing. And I, I don't know why, but my one and five eighths housing on my HHA is so much more bright than my two inch one. So, but I was able to see two green glowing pins. Which really threw me the fuck off. So she's trying to demonstrate this in the house right now, looking through her hand like in a circle formation, which is not working for her very well. I could see because she looks even more confused. It doesn't. I feel like you know when I look through it with both eyes open. Right. There's actually times that I don't. Yeah, I don't even. Here you have to look at something far and and first off, what do you? You cannot put the ring right up next to your eye like you're looking through a fucking scope of a rifle, honey. Okay, but that's not how it works. There's times that I can't even see the into the microphone. I can't see the the sight housing anymore. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You're looking through a hole that's that big. Now, if I do the oh, fuck, I just did it too. <laughs> now, when I did that to you. I was able to see my hand twice, but your face was completely clear. Yeah, no. No, no. Small hole. You're not looking through a hole. <laughs> your, your fucking peep sight is not a one-inch fucking hole, honey. <laughs> not air cock. You're not trying to grab air cock, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, if we had video on this, it'd be like yeah, game yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone would be like, was she fuck? trying to jerk the air off? What the fuck is she doing? <laughs> I fucking can't. Uh, so, we'll have to see at the range because I call bullshit on everyone. That's do it. I mean, it, they explained it on there. I it was actually bullshit. a really good video. Are they scientists? Are they doctors? No, this guy was a professional archer. Well, Prof- according to the video, he's a professional archer. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I can call myself a f- professional, whatever. All right, then you know, <laughs> everyone who's listening, we, if you want to get a real professional archer to do it. Uh, get Dudley to explain how to fucking shoot with both eyes open. This way, then we know, especially if it's in video form, Stephanie will believe it. Yeah, I'll believe it from him. Yeah, exactly. He's been doing it long enough. Mm-hmm. 
Dude shot like a thousand hours, a th- thousand arrows this weekend. Yeah. The what f- happens when you have that big of a backyard because you live in fucking aisle? Yeah. And your kids are grown. Yeah. Kids are grown. He's got a successful business. Man. You know, he's Can't got a very good name for himself. Can't wait till the kids are grown. Okay. Years. I know. Years. God damn it. Uh huh. All those times that we were messing around with other people, oh, you have kids so early. Now we're like, fuck. <laughs> Should have had kids early. Yeah, I know. It would have been almost done. Yeah, pretty much. No. Then we would have been in more debt. We would have probably stopped the dumb shit earlier. But yeah, it's true. I think if we had kids, let's see, we've been together since 02. Mm-hmm. So we've been together over 16 and a half years now. We've been married 13 of that. Yeah. So right now, even if we would have waited a couple of years, we would already have a 10 year old and a give or take 10 year old. And a seven-year-old. So that's fucking scary. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a ten-year-old run around right now. Mm hmm. I don't know. The bro, the Brody's like nine or ten. Doug's kid. I don't know. I I couldn't see and myself. He's on. He's got two bows now. That kid. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh well. Here's what it is. It's all right. So. But yeah, we'll uh we'll try that out at the range. Okay, I'll 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 find the video for you again and show you this way you can see exactly what I'm what they were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I I've actually oh shit. I've actually tried to do it at the range and I can't fucking do it. Yeah, it's it's like I said, people he they said the biggest thing that people fuck up on is they try to pay attention to the site housing instead of focusing all your attention on the target. And then everything gets clear. Hmm. Anyway, sorry. I was checking to see if one of the kids was crying. So, all right. So what are the topics we got here that we're just going off the cuff a little bit? Well, I know you were watching, uh, well, besides eBay. uh, Everything. Everything going on with uh, like Levi Morgan winning everything and then. All those fucking people talking trash. Oh, yes, yes, those yes. Anti- okay, the people that don't shoot for a living that are, you know, you shoot every now and then. Right. Talking more shit than, than the people who actually do it professionally. Well, I mean, he was actually on um, Bow Junkie this week, which I thought was hysterical. Because, I mean, we talk about Levi a lot, Dan a lot. Pretty much the whole fucking Matthews crew, just because they've been dominating the shit out of everything. Right. You know, right now, PSC, who, which is the bows we shoot right now, you know, they got the, the big two for PSC right now are Jack Wallace, because he's been doing very well, several podium finishes, and also uh, Stefan Hansen, who does, you know, all the world's competitions for targets. So, but, you know, you, you give credit to where credit's due, Matthews has been fucking running away with everything. Wait, what, um, hmm? what, po- what podcast was he on? Bow Junkie. Why do I not have him? That's uh, Greg Pohl, the one I keep talking about. That he's a giant. <laughs> so. Oh, you know what? I probably um, I probably follow all of his uh, video stuff and not right. uh, like pod just podcasts. So that's right. probably why. I'm... But no, he was on there, and you know, they they made a comment about you know because there was a lot of online hate, I guess, getting thrown at Levi Moore. You'd be like, oh, his career's over. Mm-hmm. He didn't win this. He didn't win that. Okay, whatever. You know, leave everyone knows. I mean, the, the dude's like what eleven time shooter of the year, and people are all gonna automatically say, "Oh, he didn't win the first couple of competitions. His career's over. He's finished. He's done." Please, which is stupid. And that's what uh, made me laugh because I mean, they, I think they were rough calling them like the armchair archers. You know, the guy who's <laughs> talking shit from their couch, which is stupid. And then now, of course, you know. Levi tweaked the bow, tweaked some settings, worked with some shit, and he's won like the last three in a row. Right. And uh, w- w- the thing that made me laugh is because, um, like we always talk, I-, I mentioned with Dan, he's notoriously known for pushing people in shoot downs. Like Dan will purposely go, and I, uh, Dan McCarthy if, from Matthews, if anyone who's wondering who Dan is, mm-hmm. he purposely seems to go for 12 rings nonstop. While he's in the shoot down. Or if he knows his mark on that particular site is on the money, he is going to shoot the 14 ring because he is going to try to push the dude who's in the lead right. over the fucking edge and make them fuck up. 
because he's great at that. He's great at pushing that pressure on people. And uh, that's what made me laugh is because they were like, yeah, you know, guys like Dan hear all this hate talk toward, you know, about Levi and that his career is over. And he's like, all of them are just sitting there like, but y'all just shut the fuck up because he, this is going to light a fire under his ass and he's going to come back and just annihilate everyone. And sure shit, that's what he's doing. So props to Levi, you know, everybody else. Matthews is running away with shit. Sharon and Kara and Emily McCarthy are absolutely fucking destroying the women's class. They are just running away with the women's class. Well, I mean, there's really not... How, wait, what's the, the difference for the amount of participants total for women's versus men's class? Is there like a, a smaller group for women's? Because I don't... Yeah, I mean, the group is normally smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, well, archery, well, it's just like your typical sport. It's dominated by men right well, now. Yeah. But in the female archery class, and you could tell over the last couple of years, like their sponsor paychecks are going up, their regular um, event paychecks are getting higher because there's more women entering and it, there's more promotion. And right. Well, no, I mean, it, oh, shit. I just meant that... Um because it's the same, like, kind of top couple. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there's a lot of... Um... Yeah, but it also has to do with your score. It is... A, to the average person, if you go on a 40-target shooting event, you know, the par score, even score, which everyone would normally call, is 400. Right. Every, that's if you nail 10 rings every shot. Mm -hmm. For the average person, shooting a 400 is fucking hard. For the average mm -hmm. person consistently to shoot a 400 because yeah it, because you start getting tired that's the right. problem well yeah it's the hiking it's the walking can you keep your mind settled you're shooting well, against other people who are it just it also depends on where it is too right because if you're walking on flat land all the time versus mountains i mean you're, you're right. fucking i mean flat land is oh yeah yeah cakewalk but that's what I'm saying. Though. I mean, you got the, the the walk involved. You have the intimidation. I mean, I mean, like right now. <coughs> I'm sorry. There are some events that where they send out like a certain amount of groups, like every couple of minutes. Like you know, so like a group of five or a group of six right. will be all right. Five minutes later, the next group goes, and this way everyone stays like a target ahead nonstop. There's some events that where they put amateurs with pros. Mm. I'd be nervous as fuck if they put me to shoot with someone like Levi or Dan because... Why? They're just like a normal person, just like everyone else. normal people, yes, but it's like when we ran into Sharon and Jack at the range. Okay. You just stand there and fucking awe and be like, look at the form. Look at the... You could just see it. It's just... You know there, there's been hundreds or thousands of fucking hours involved and then becoming as good as they are. Oh, yeah. So you have that where you just watched them and you're just like, oh, shit. So it, you're it, saying you were a creepy watcher at the time? Fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's creepy watching. I don't give a shit. Props to... Not for nothing. I, 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 yeah, you could probably say that because I actually picked something off just watching Jack shoot. You know, because I was having a problem with my... my well, you know, my front left shoulder always gives me issues. Mm -hmm. But from that one time, I was stupid and caught a transmission that was falling off a tranny jack. Stupid. And it tried to rip my shoulder out of the socket. I don't know why you try to think you can catch that. It, I did catch it. I was holding it up, but my Fucking shoulder was ripped out of the socket. So I know something back then tore, but whatever. Um, and I noticed the way Jack draws back. And then he kind of does this, raises the bow thing, and then brings it down. And... Just from watching him that day, I was like, hmm, you know, the alignment, you know, mm -hmm. it, maybe that'll be something that, and ever since I started doing that, just from like watching him and visualizing what the fuck he's doing, I was like, oh, that's a pretty fucking cool maneuver. Mm -hmm. You know, he, it's like he, I don't know how to explain it. Like he it's gets like the you're full resetting yourself. Right. It's, but it's to me, I don't know if it's the way it causes me to rotate my shoulders one is when I do it, there's no pain involved. There's no pinch. I don't feel mm -hmm. anything in my front shoulder. So it, it's like the way you it allows be... me, to, it like for, I don't know if it works the way the same way for him, but it mm -hmm. seems for me that it gets my shoulder in that spot where I'm dead nuts straight. You could be taking like a kink out. It might be. Somewhere. But whatever, it works. And I mean, that's something I picked up off just watching him while he's at the range. Well, I you mean, know. these people 
people that do this, I mean, they're no different. They just put in the extra hours and the time and, you know, the yeah, effort. But it's still, I mean, you got to be naturally, I mean, some people, no matter what, are going to be intimidated by someone's natural fucking ability. Or you're just going to be excited, like, holy shit, I'm shooting next to Dan. You know, fucking, you know, you're going to be like a fucking kid, you know? I don't know. I don't think I'd be like that. I think this would be pretty cool because um, they, you could learn a lot. They were fucking 15 feet away from us. I'm like, God, I could fucking ask him a thousand questions right now. You could probably you know? learn a lot. I oh, mean, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah. But you don't want to be that, that asshole. Like, creeper Creeperton? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Creeper Creeperton. Yeah. Okay. Hey, can I ask you a question even though you're just here to shoot? Right, right, right. You know, and I mean, we became friendly with them while while we were, they were there and stuff like that. And because our our, uh, our daughter didn't are, cry at all. Yeah, our daughter's adorable. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, she's so cute." Well, yeah, I guess a friend of hers. She just she has a an infant and uh, cries like right. nonstop. Actually, I believe two two of the women that have been winning recently are both pregnant. Mm. That, that has some new openings for some people to come up because you know there's a uh, a period where they're not going to be shooting. Right, because I, I know um, Greg Poole from Bow Junkie. He had, uh, I don't know if I'm correct, but I could swear in one of the podcasts he had mentioned something about Sharon being pregnant. Mm. And Kara's pregnant, from what I have seen in some of the photos on uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't say from the photos. No, no, no. Don't it's like 18 weeks. It was like one of those oh, photos. Oh, okay. Don't, I was going to say, don't no, go no, there. No, no, no. I'm not going to assume a woman's fucking... Because uh, no, there's, to do that. there's some women who definitely look pregnant, but they are not. So mm-hmm. that's a that's like a that's a no no. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, hell, some women who are not pregnant looked more pregnant than I was pregnant at the time. Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> oh, you too? No. Oh, mm, no, no. Mine's just beer. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm like, whoa, shit, my bad. You drink a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you do a little. So. Like little, little. But um, what else we got? Basically, never, mm-hmm. well, for the last summary of that one, stop talking shit, people. <laughs> yeah, you know, the more shit you talk, then the more you probably haven't done. Mm-hmm. That is true. It's, I mean, well, there's that stupid saying that people who know stuff say stay quiet because they think they don't know anything, and the one who doesn't know jack shit is the one that runs their goddamn mouth. It's like they failed at it, so they got to fill that void in their life with just talking shit like they actually... <laughs> going to make your life suck, too. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fucking trolls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no, we have to mention... Uh, so there's that, that Iron Man thing going on. Iron Man? Th- oh. The, the Brevard. The Brevard archers where Dougie shoots. Mm-hmm. Uh, the weekend of July 7th, they're having an Iron Man shoot, which I believe is like 3D plus Target plus a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. And they are also doing a swap meet that day or that weekend. Right. Um, now, we're trying to work things out here for a possible situation, but Stephanie is going to be sending stuff down to Doug from your little SD store that you make Etsy, slings Etsy, whatever Etsy. Right, you take over from there fucking then. dyslexic motherfucker yeah that's fine <laughs> um yeah no my the the shop that I have online is um with all my bow slings and I started putting a couple other things like um bino straps and stuff like that mm-hmm. um monkey I'm, balls I'm gonna monkey be fist? oh Jesus Christ monkey ball monkey, what is it monkey balls or monkey fists <laughs> monkey's fist monkey fist okay <laughs> Whatever. I have like one hanging from every keychain at work right now. You want some balls? Yeah, you, go. you want some monkey balls? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, um yeah, so they they have um you can ha- get a table and uh sell some of your stuff down there. So I'm going to try and get together stuff and um get it down there for um that event. So if you are in the Melbourne area, and you are going to something like this, then uh, you'll see my stuff there. Mm-hmm. So, and if you happen to um, uh, mention that you actually heard it on our podcast, then I'll maybe I'll give you a little discount. Only if you're at the the place. Okay. If, you, if, if someone mentions it, because then we know that they listen. Well, as of right now, Doug and Donna are going to be the ones running it. We're mm-hmm. trying to work, actually work it out where we're there, possibly, possibly. I don't know. You bitch at like four hours in a car. I'll be fine. A 
call like such a big bullshit on that. No, I'll be fine. It's just because we're not going to be going the same fucking way we always go, same place. I'll be fine. You want a tissue for those tears? No. <laughs> yeah, but if you're not driving, you're like, yeah, it's fucking car. That's because that fucking Rah. car is uncomfortable. Rah. Get off my lawn. We have a Mitsubishi <laughs> Lancer, and it's not the most comfortable car. No, no. Especially when we have the most baller NASCAR-like car seats for our kids to sit in. So I have to, like, sit with my knees against the dashboard. That if we ever get into a car accident, the airbag's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> They're the only ones surviving yeah, the yeah, crash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look like I'm smashed between an airbag and a fucking seat. Oh, no. Putting a hydraulic press or some shit. No, we gotta, we gotta figure out the car situation. Because, I mean, it's, it, it's gonna be paid off. So it's, you know, kind of... Yeah, yeah. No car payment, so maybe we'll just save up for a bigger one. And but you know, plus we're trying to want to buy a house. Yeah, but he goes into like a booster seat, and when when usually like eight. Is it really that long? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't see no seven year olds sitting in a car seat. I think they're not allowed to go into a booster until at least five or six, something like that. Now they changed all the laws. That's why the car seat is 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 set up for him to weigh eighty pounds. Yeah, they. Uh, well, it could be some really fat kid. Uh, whatever. But, He's uh, got tons of room in his. All I know is they wanted like rear facing till two. Fuck you. I, I'm like facing my two year old to the back. Mm -hmm. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Yep. Um. That's actually curiouser and curiouser. To, what uh, what booster seat? Oh, stop it! Fucking Google, you're not helping me. Booster seat laws. Oh, I should have put laws. Keep getting notifications about this one goddamn bow, and it's pissing me off that no one's bid on this fucking thing yet. Yeah, if you need a bow, go on eBay right now because there's uh some. By the time I post this, it's going to be sold. Cheap. No, just in general, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been finding... Ah, four. Four. You can you can safely switch your child to a booster seat if she's at least four and weighs 40 pounds or more. Okay. Okay, so oh. if it's it's higher than the top of the harness strap slots in the back seat, in the, the car seat's back, mm -hmm. then uh, they have outgrown it. Okay, so... So, oh, he's a before... Coming he's up. not going to fucking go into a booster seat. He's staying in that seat as long as possible because that seat is safer than so our 10, car. 10. He'll be a 10 year old in a fucking no, car seat. No, he's not going to be 10, but he'll be in there. If he fits in there until he's fucking five, he'll be in it. Just because I know it's safer. But, so. eBay. Yes. All right. So, yeah, I've been looking for deals on everything lately. And like I said in, in the beginning, I was helping Doug try to find bows. Um, right now there's a really, really good one that if I had money, I'd buy it myself. Uh, and by the time I post this, the sale is already going to be over because it's going to end here in 13 minutes. But someone's actually got a 2018 PSC shoot down up right now for $500. That's a $1,300 bow for 500 bucks right now. Yes, it's used, whatever it is, still this season's bow. It does have the Evolve cams with the high let off and all that yada yada shit. Um, but I mean, some of the prices are been ridiculous. I mean, I mean, Doug's bow was brand new in the box and he got his for eight fifty on a thousand dollar Supra. Yeah. Um, there's a ton of, ton of bows right now that are, are going for really, really good prices. Somebody's selling a 2012, uh, Supra also 60 pounds, right-handed that right now is going for $180. Plus shipping. Is that a uh, a set price or is that a bid? Uh, right now it says one hundred and eighty dollars or best offer. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. So no one's bid on it, but it does say reserve is not met. Well, of course reserve is not met. No one's fucking bid on it. Yeah, so. but see the thing with those, some of those you got to be careful because um, they might have it set a lot higher. Yeah, they do, but that's what I'm saying. But I don't think you can if it's or best offer. I think you have to put the 180, and then, you know, the 180 is, is your reserve. But the fact that it says reserve uh, is not met because no one has even bit the minimum yet. Oh, uh, okay. I got, it. So. I got it. I haven't been on eBay a while. Because, mm -hmm. I, you know, I was, I was actually thinking of selling my stuff on 
on eBay. Mm -hmm. But man, <clears throat> that's uh eBay gets tricky with all the fees and everything like that. Like I sell on Etsy because it, they're actually really simple. They have the fee right and everything that they charge you, but they uh they take care of a lot. Right. And um I think the other one I was I was looking at looking into is Amazon. I'm selling on Amazon. Oh, your slings and stuff. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. I'm saying right, right now, like even if we were to put your bow up on eBay, everything for them is a is a set percentage now. I don't know. So. I gotta maybe I should look into it again. I don't know. I haven't been on eBay in in ages. I don't, uh, I don't know. eBay's a little weird right now. Yeah. I feel like I I do feel like eBay's kind of and yeah, I don't know. I don't know the place they're at right now. I don't know. I got I got a weird vibe off. I've been on um Amazon so much that I haven't really went on eBay. Oh, okay. So I I I have to look into Amazon. Okay. And see. But yeah, I mean there is though. I mean there's been a bunch of deals on bows and it's I've been looking at everything. Um stuff from PSC for the most part because just cuz I we're kind of loyal to PSC with stuff. Um seen a bunch of stuff from Hoyt for a decent price. It is far more expensive than anything from PSE. Well, you're looking at a name, too. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. It's like... Which is sad to say, because PSE... Hasn't PSE been around longer than White because of the fact that they used to be Browning? No, well, they, they took over Browning. Yeah, but technically... Browning it's... gave... The way I read it was Browning gave PSE the contract to produce Browning bows. Right. And then Browning decided they weren't going to make bows anymore, so PSC literally absorbed all of it. Yeah. So, but technically, that that gives them the age factor of. Yeah, yeah. Of, well, PSCs have been around since like the '60s, I think. So, so they've has, been around has for a while. White been around longer than that? No, I don't think so. Okay. I so. think the the big thing that drives like Matthews and Hoyt is their marketing. Whoever does their marketing for both of those companies is a fucking genius. Oh, yeah, because they're all, all over the place. Oh, yeah, Everywhere yeah. you look, that's all you see. Matthews is a really big one. Hoyt's a big one. I mean, they sponsor everyone under the fucking sun because of the fact that they 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 give yeah, someone the a bow that's, like, in the the media and whatnot. And um, that's free advertising. Mm -hmm. That's free selling just for, you know, giving giving a bow. I mean, advertising is fucking expensive. Oh, yeah, to do. absolutely. And especially if you can't guarantee always a return. Mm -hmm. So if you have someone else doing the legwork for you, then, I mean, you know, more oh, power yeah. to it. Uh, but BSC does not, unfortunately, do a lot of that. I mean, well, their marketing in general is not very, no. like, out there. You know, it. it I, I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. It, it, like, as long 3D, as they've the, been around. Well, it's... 3D, the big gun one is Jack Wallace. And he is a fantastic archer. That's for shit sure. And the world's class is uh, Stefan Hansen. Right. And he's been winning titles since he's 19 or yeah. 18 or some shit like that. So, you know, it's just, there, I think between the fact that there's not a lot of big archers involved with them and the fact that the, their marketing is not as out there as, like, the reach is not as out there. They think people are else. just going to hear them and then come to them. Like, yeah. they're all oh, PSC, mm -hmm. let me just go to you. Right. Well, I, that's why I, I don't know. I think some companies have just not adopted a lot of the new ways of how marketing's going to run. Yeah, they're still going you know, by as like, much as I, me and you don't like social media on a lot of stuff. Mm. That's how they get their name out there. It's I mean, not that I, I can don't name, like social media. Yeah, but the thing it's is, I mean, that... how many people can I name from each brand? Yeah. Uh, I can name two from PSC. I can name probably 10 from Matthews and at least the same amount from Hoyt. At least the same amount from fucking Hoyt. And then you got Obsession coming in. Yeah, but Obsession's not really doing much either. Obsession's both. Well, is that, Obsession's only five years old, though. I was going to say, so they're, they're, they're the new. baby. They're, yeah, they're still you know, kind of... Granted, they're making fucking waves like crazy. Yeah, they, they kind of got to get their footing together first before they can start really doing a lot. Right, mm-hmm. So. You know, but but when you look at it, you know, right now, Matthews and Hoyt are the two biggest promoting bow companies out. Mm -hmm. You know, PSE is doing a great job updating their line and adding this and adding that and adding stuff and giving people 
a shit ton of options if you want. Right. You know, do you want to go with the Vapor series, which is speed bows, like my bow? Right. You know, do you want to go with the Evolve things? Everything that's got a fucking Evolve cam on it. Mm-hmm. Um, their target line and it, 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 their bow fishing line. There's like six lines now. Yeah. So, you know, they're giving people a ton of, of choices and a ton of options. But there's still there's still not that portion of reach out there. You know, yeah. there's not you go on like YouTube is fucking huge. All right. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows that shit. Every channel we watch, everything is Matthews and Matthews and Hoyt. Everything. There's almost no one on my list that shoots PSE. Almost nobody. You yeah, know. no, I can't think of anyone. Yeah. Hush, all shoot Hoyts. Every single yeah, one do. of them has a brand new RX1. Dudley, Hoyt, Cam, Hoyt, Levi, Matthews, Dan McCarthy, Matthews. You know, hmm. so it's like, you know, Archery Talk is the only YouTube channel I have that has like everything. But if you watch the guy who does a lot of their videos, every target bow he owns is like a TRX 38 or, you know, a TRX 8 or a TRX 7, whatever. It's all Matthews bows. Well, they go over everything that, that comes out and whatnot. Right, so but, they're going to be going over everything. Yeah, but he constantly makes a point of saying that his personal bows are Matthews. Oh. So. Putting that little personal dig in there. Right. Well, I think even bowhunting.com, they all run Matthews bows. I believe. I'm, I'm not sure, but I could swear they run Matthews bows. I don't know. You know, the guys from Bow Hunter Planet, they seem to fuck with everything. You know, they get in tons of bows, A from AP, from Hoyt, from Matthews, from PSE, from everybody. Right. Um, I do believe that they're, they do have the one guy on Bow Hunter Planet. He is a, a target shooter, whatever, does 3D competitions, plus he's a hunter and whatever. Right. And uh, he seems to shoot PSEs because he had a whole like shoot down or a super or whatever all set up for himself and no one is, is it, still bit on his fucking bow. Is it really that. Uh... PSC does just doesn't want to sponsor anyone, or is it? I don't like, know. What's... I just don't know if they realize how much they're losing out on a lot of it. You know, and it's not to knock them because I love their products and shit like that. I mean, well, obviously, we shoot, we shoot stuff. their bows, right? You know, and it's it's it just I mean, they need to get their hand more in that reach of who's out there, huh. but. A lot of these channels now, like if just if you use YouTube as a reference, right. a lot of these channels are so already set up and ingrained in their YouTube pattern and everything like that. They would probably fucking wreck their channel if they switch brands. You think so? Oh, fuck yes. Fuck yes. I don't think so. If you watch the, 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 the stupid channels for, you know, whatever, I, I play video games and shit, and you know that, and me and Doug play on the weekends on yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, on live, on Xbox. If you watch some of these channels, and they all this, you know, for the majority of the channels, everyone just swings on Sony's fucking nuts <laughs> when it comes to the PlayStation. PlayStation's customer service sucks fucking balls. The PSN sucks balls. I mean, it, it, I mean, people are getting kicked offline nonstop. Mm-hmm. Xbox has never had that problem. I've n- in the fourteen years I've been online, I've never had that problem on live. Jesus Christ! Yeah, exactly. So, but the one time that half of these channels will be like, "Well, you know the uh, the Xbox One X, that's ah, kind of kicking the fucking PlayStation Four Pro's ass into the ground." Right. And Xbox now is buying company after company after company because. This, uh, it's Microsoft. Their games as a service thing. Their um, their what the fuck is it called? Game Pass. Game Pass. Yes, uh, is is working out. So now Microsoft is buying. They just bought five more game studios to produce Microsoft games to be thrown in Game Pass that will be playable on the Xbox and on your PC at the same fucking time. And your phone. And your phones. Yes. So. And and the one time people, you know, a lot of these channels be like, oh, you know, Xbox is really doing good with this. You should see the YouTube comments with the fucking PlayStation fanboys losing their shit. Really? Oh, my God. You fucking traitors and blah, 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 Ooh. blah, blah. And, you know, it's bad enough when you run a hunting thing or a podcast like we do. You get death threats from fucking vegans or some shit. Some angry Whatever. fucking asshole who wants to troll you. Right. 
dude, these people who have been like fans for the longest time, the second one of these channels says some like sort of props towards Xbox, and I'm just using this all for an example. Right. I'm an unsubscribe. Fuck you. You're a traitor. Wow. Blah. Like, it's like, what are you fucking twelve? Jesus Christ. Have you not read the stats? It's like you know. Yeah, but the, I don't know. People are. It's like uh, sports fans. Yeah, but anyone who's played them, like we we had PlayStation back in the day, even to now, PlayStation when it came to single player games. All right, Tomb not even, Raider. Not, yeah, yeah. Not even multiplayer the shit. The original Tomb Raiders. But no, no. Like, any <laughs> a sort of exclusive, PlayStation ran the single player market, hands down. And I, I know we're supposed to be talking about Archer, but I'm just using this for an example to equate to it. PlayStation, PlayStation has always ran the single player game. Mm. Every one of the major exclusives they had is like this crazy, high ranked single player game. Like, right now, the one that's running shit is God of War. The uh, graphics you're look losing me now. Well, too, whatever, so but the graphics look intense. Whatever. Right. But you know, now that Microsoft is trying to do all this shit, add these other companies, they were in talks to buy. Fuck. At one point, Microsoft almost bought EA or Valve. They were in talks to buy either company. If Microsoft would have bought them, they could have butchered the entire fucking gaming market. I thought they already owned EA. No, they were in talks to buy EA. Oh. Which, if they would have bought EA, it Microsoft would have been able to just put everybody in a fucking stranglehold. Because they have that EA Pass. Right. But, you know. I don't know. Well, the EA Pass ain't worth it. It's not. I don't it's know. Really I not. play one game. That's it. Not going to sell. Oh, my God. Well, it sucks for you. Because you can't buy it either. Yeah, I know. Oh, so sad. Mm. That's all right. Ended. Damn. Oh. We so, should put my stinger up there. Unsold. Oh my god. Okay, so nobody bought this shoot down that was listed for five hundred bucks. That is such a bummer. Hmm. That'll get re re uploaded, I'm sure. But you know, it's just and that's where I mean where if you could equate the two to to archery and stuff like that, if you were to take a YouTube channel, let's say a good one, where everyone's very positive. Let's use the guys from Hush. Mm -hmm. All three of those guys are like we've mentioned before, super fucking positive. Everyone's doing great. No, I think this great. is a bad example right off the bat. Why? Because I don't think people that watch them are watching them for their bows. Yeah, but every year they do a thing. They do vid several one, two, three, five, whatever videos about the new bows they just got. Every year, because they, they just all got it. just got RX ones last year. They all got Pro Defiant thirty fours. Mm, I still don't. I still don't think that's a good channel to put on there. That I don't think they would lose fan base from just for their white shot. My from point their... is, it doesn't make like the, the whole thing of these people fucking flipping out and like unsubscribing mm -hmm. because of the loyal the brand loyalty shit. Yeah, it, that like they're one of the probably the best because. It's just be, they are like positive fucking people, and I can literally see people just being stupid and be like, "Oh, that's it. You switch brands. That's it. We're done." Maybe you know, every year they they set up the same things. They set up a brand new Hoyt bow every single year, mm -hmm. and they set up brand new Eastern arrows every year. One year it's injections. One year it's FMJs. Right. One year it's this. One year it's that. Bloodlines. Whatever the fuck it is. So, you know, it's just. You, you don't know are companies like PSE or Obsession or whoever losing out right now because they're not in with these channels that are now big. Right, right, right. You know, you know, uh, Dudley used to shoot Matthews, and now he shoots Hoyts. Uh, he uh, one time I think he believe he said in the podcast he worked for Matthews. So I don't know. That's but see, that's why I think a lot of like love loss won't happen is if you go from Matthews to Hoyt. But once you go from one of them two to like PSC or to Obsession, and people start just losing their shit. Uh, I don't know. You know. I remember seeing a lot of comments that people, and it's horrible to say, but people like talking shit to Paige Gore because she had left PSC and gone to Bowtech. You know, her contract was up and somebody else offered her a better contract mm -hmm. and she moseyed on her way. Right. Do I think that is absolutely a stupid choice by PSE to not counter offer or give her her better offer because she is absolutely just fucking dominating the shit out of stuff this year. Well, see, that's another thing that you're you're going into is the fact that some of these companies won't 
try and keep these people on. And I mean, you see like less and less going from some of the mother, you know, like PSC obsession, stuff like right. that. And then you get your two big heavy hitters as far as um, uh, media is concerned. And, uh, you know, you got Matthews and Hoyt kind of scooping everyone up. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't help the fact that the other companies aren't really kind of making an effort for it. But we really don't know what's going on in those companies because we don't work for them. Right. Yeah. No one really does. Well, I mean, any company you're in, you're, I mean, you're going to have to take some kind of a risk. Mm, I don't know. Maybe there's something else going on that we don't know as far as financial, if they don't think they're going to be able to right. continue. But they just released another bow, so you would think... You know, or maybe this is their last stretch to kind of compete with Matthews. And then if sales don't go farther up, then maybe they're going to look another route. Right. Well, you never know. That's, that is true. I didn't maybe, think about that. Yeah. Maybe maybe this is their last thing to, to try and compete with some of these guys. And then maybe they can't afford to have people on there, you know, uh, as far as um, sponsored wise. Mm-hmm. You never know. I mean, Browning, you know, it's uh, Browning's still around with guns. Yes. But it's uh, PSC does not make guns. No. They want to make crossbows and bows. Fuck crossbows. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's. You don't really hear about their crossbow game much either. They don't hear about anything with crossbows from anybody. Because no, they suck. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I hear about was like Fucking that crossbows. sub one or whatever, which was supposed to have like a one inch drop at a hundred yards. Fuck crossbows. You or know what? If one you inch see at hundred yards. One guy shoot with his fucking feet. There's no reason. If you got two of your arms still attached to your body, oh, he's you about, need yes. a fucking crossbow. Mm hmm And he's from Hoyt too. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this dude shoots with his feet. Mm hmm So if your arms are still attached to your body... Shouldn't be pitching. Because mm -hmm. his are not attached anymore. Okay. Actually, yeah. I don't remember. What it, he lost it in, was it military? No, or he was, was born it, that way. It was born, yeah. He was born that way. Uh, oh, what was his name? Matt? Or Mike? Something like that. But he actually also holds like the record for the, the longest accurate shot ever made. It was like 350 yards. The fuck? Yeah. So he only what kind he, of scope is he using? Because well, that's a fucking I'm, scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rifle scope on a bow? I don't, I don't fucking know. Fucking 50 times. 50 times? <laughs> I don't know. Specialty archery makes a peep. That'll work with that one. You call him up. Hey, I'd like to get it to order. Well, we, you know, how many times would you like? Uh, 50? Yeah, exactly. 50 what? Like 50 of them or? No, 50. 50 times magnification. Mm hmm. I don't know why I sound like a three year old. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do your balls sound like two three-year-old girls no jesus <laughs> fuck you they're wise mm -hmm. but yeah i mean i don't know some of these companies i think need to step up like oh, oh, obsession's doing a really good job they're doing good for a new company you have to right. still remember that they are a new company coming but i think in. it's also like one of the big things is that with obsession that's doing really good is their options like there's 20 like you ordered your bow from them they had a, a, a american bow uh like a yeah, red white and blue red white and blue american flag bow yeah. but you can pick 20 different sorry i'm trying to like adjust the mic uh like 20 different camos on the riser yeah. different camo on the limbs different camo or color on the cams your string color like your bow comes personalized to you you know it, it, it granted you're gonna wait for it a little bit when because you, when you go to the dealer and then they, they submit everything that you fucking want and you know you'll you'll wait about a month to get it. It's Who not going to be something that's off the shelf, but it is what it is. It's not like yeah. you're going to go buy a bow and there's well, it's only four color options or four camel options. It's right, not right, it's right. not like that. You know, there's twenty. Ooh, imagine mm. if my cams were fucking lime green like the rest of my stuff. That would actually be badass. Yeah. Yeah. That would lime, really be lime badass. Green Damn. Cams. That was a place we can get them powder coated here. That's local. Yeah. Get them lime green, powder coated lime green to match everything else. Or neon, fluorescent green, not lime fluorescent green, fluorescent green. green. Yeah, that would actually be pretty fucking dope. I know. That's <laughs> why I brought it up. Okay, that's fine. I, th I did read in the one place, I think it was like 60 bucks to do cams. It wasn't very expensive. It's not bad yeah. to powder coat it. Yeah, I think it was like 60 bucks to powder coat a set of bow cams. Now, but would they take it off or do we take it apart? 
No, no, we have to take. We have to bring them just the cams. Okay, I was gonna say, man, they they they're screwing around with my bow. And if no, it's not no. a, a an archery like a pro shop, then no, sometimes to, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. No, we'd have to bring it to our pro shop. They'd have to take the cams off completely, and then hand us everything, and then go there and have them do the cams, and then go back to the bow shop and have them put everything back together. It'll be pricey. You're talking Ooh. like a hundred and fifty dollars at least to get. Well, it's better coated. than that. Uh, I was watching the YouTube video. I was going down the powder coating. Like, I was trying to look up videos and stuff like that just to see uh, outcomes from them, like, spraying bows down and stuff like that, like the risers right. and whatnot. And uh, talk about a redneck video. They're like, we're going to spray paint our bow. Like, we can use spray paint the same as powder coating. Okay. I was like... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And they're like, "Yeah, we've never taken a bow apart, so we're just gonna figure it out as oh, we go." I'm Jesus like, "Oh Christ. no! <laughs> oh no!" And um, they they had everything apart, but getting something apart is not the the problem. It's yeah, getting it's it, getting back, it back, together. back together. Mm-hmm. Oh no! They they don't do a video put putting it back. They just did it of the but that shit's gonna fucking crack. Uh, yeah, Think about definitely. it. Think about it. It's, well, it's spray paint. Uh, powder coating, yeah, but powder coating, you have to cook it. So you have to put, like, you'd have to put the whole riser in, like, your oven. Right. And let it cook in. No, and then you have did... to lower the temperature gradually so it sets. Yeah, no, they did not do any of that. They just fucking dipped it's that like shit. It's like they sell, like, do it at, at home kits. DIY for powder... home kits. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. It's basically a film, and activator, and you put it in a tub of water. You no, no, you're talking about water transfer, not powder coating. Yes, but they were comparing it to powder coating. Oh, fuck no, it's not. Powder coating, that shit is like bulletproof. Um, that's why I said it's some, some redneck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were they were comparing it to the outcome of a powder coating, and they're like, no, we just bought, we just went to Home Depot, and we got some spray paint off the, the shelf. And so, well, people, I've seen people do that. They, really, they put the Krylon, they just get a big storage Tupperware, and they spray yeah, all the Krylon Yeah, and I've seen it come out water. great with skulls and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. But if you think about it, they're doing it to a riser of a bow, and they're not, they're not setting it in. Right. Mm. So that shit's going to crack because your riser is going to flex. Oh, yeah, yeah. It does have some flex in it. Am I wrong? Oh, no, I totally agree with you. Okay. Absolutely. You're going to get wear marks on it, that's for sure. Yeah. You know? So. Unless you're you're going for that aged look. Well, that some antique. people do. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, if it fucks up and you're like, yeah, no, no, I was going for that antique look. Yeah, yeah. You could always use that <laughs> excuse. Hey, there you go. Yeah. No, I just, I don't know. By the time you're all done paying for supplies for that shit, you might as well have just taken it somewhere. Well, if you're going to do. do something like that, you're going to do big things. Like a lot of people that buy those do it at your do it yourself powder coating kits, they're buying it because one kit will do all four rims of a car. <laughs> that's that's why they buy it. Or on a motorcycle. The, the the kid I work with that rides bikes, he takes his wheels off all the time and powder coats his wheels on right. every single one of his bikes. Oh. Cuz a lot of the bikes will come with like gloss black or fucking chrome and he's like nope 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 he matte blacks his wheels he mm. likes matte black wheels which i don't blame him his because his his uh what the fuck's he driving r6 right you know everything's nice he's got all of his accents and his wheels are all matte black right and it looks really really good but it's powder coated matte black and he does it at home what they do it yourself kit and you know they do like the um where you look you do uh multiple colors mm-hmm. and then you spray it over the water and right. then you dip it yeah yeah no, it's, this was bad. This one was bad. But the DIY little sheets that you were talking about, mm-hmm. that the um, the water dipping. Right, yeah. You can buy these sheets. You have a spray activator, and then you dip your shit in there, and right. you, you bring it out and it dries. And it's yeah, that looks to, better when the pattern is set. You could do, I've seen it with people doing it with um, parts of guns, too. Mm-hmm. I can't name it. The one I like was, uh, there was one of those kits that... Uh, that the sheet they had put down on top of the water was carbon fiber. That and a really carbon good. fiber to skull. Which I was like, oh dude, I so want yeah. to do that. You know. Yeah. I think when we when we get back into when we really start going hunting here. Uh uh-huh. um, keeping the skulls, have it have them well, all yeah, clean. Yeah. And um maybe try some of those uh dips on them. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Definitely. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Because that's what I want. I don't I don't I don't personally I'm not a like, you know, I don't want the heads. 
like the whole mount. I'm oh, not I got into nothing that. wrong with that. I like the skulls. No, I just don't like them. No, I'm just not into like having the whole head with the eyeballs and shit looking at you. I like Euro mount. I already I've got four of the Euros. eyeballs that are tracking my every movement. Yeah, our two kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So. But no, I, I but I'm I have a thing for skulls anyway. Right. I would love to have. Oh no, you never, you would never know it's shooting skulls. Oh shit! No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I would actually love to have human skulls, like the ones that are are real human skulls. Those are a lot of that money. were. I know. I already looked it up. Um, the uh, of people that donated their body to right. science yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and cadaver skulls. Yeah, and and they don't need the skulls anymore for whatever mm-hmm. reason, so you can buy them. That'd be really fucking like five thousand cool. dollars. Yeah, some go for like ten and fifteen. Yeah, that's crazy. I've looked it up already. Because they're real. Yeah, it's a real human skull. Like, God damn it! Mm-hmm. How cool would that be? You're... Knowing that your skull is like sitting in someone's house, like after you die, it's gonna be sitting in their living room. I don't want to haunt that fucking place. How fucking cool! <laughs> <laughs> you Just, motherfuckers! You ain't gonna sleep in since I'm in this house, motherfucker. No sleep for you. You sitting in the living room, or if they put you in the dining room, you fucking eating that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say it. I know you're gonna say. <laughs> hey, Tubby, you want a piece of that pie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that would be that would be fucking epic as hell. That'd be funny. <laughs> See the skull up. on his shelf. Hey, fatty, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> She'll be going to her therapist saying, hey, "You called me a fatty." The ghost did. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, that skull talks. That'd be cool to haunt someone. <laughs> There's some random stuff. Every time I walk through the room with a piece of cookie or a cake or something, it turns on the shelf. It's the spookiest shit ever. <laughs> no, we've lived in a place that has ghosts. That oh. shit is fucking weird. You don't, oh, you don't the, the remember? Loft. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the loft we lived in in Florida. Fuck yeah. that. We would, when, uh, I, when I did the uh, property search, I found out that there was a, a house right where our loft was. Yeah, uh, so what would happen is we had... Um, Downstairs, it was like you had the couches, and then uh, you have your your end tables or whatnot, like um, your coffee tables. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had surround sound speakers. And the mm-hmm. thing is, is that we worked together at the time. No, 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 no. we didn't work together. No, you no, worked no. for the title clearing company. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but we wouldn't. We would leave around the same time. Mm-hmm. So. We'd get home, and I think both of us would notice that the the speakers were turned, mm-hmm. and the other one would ask, like, "Did you turn the speakers?" And we weren't playing a joke, because honestly, by now the other one would probably say, "Like, look, I was just fucking with you," mm-hmm. and uh, the speakers were getting turned, and I think after a couple times of saying, "Oh no, it might have just been one of us," or you know, right. of them constantly getting turned the same way, mm-hmm. and then. Um, the computer, if it was uh, left on, it wouldn't go into sleep mode. It, it would, would shut off. It would shut off. Well, no, the screen, the TV, the screen would shut off yeah. completely. It wouldn't. The screen wouldn't go to sleep. The screen would be off. It'd be off, and it wasn't one of those those screens that have like the safeties on them now. It, like it, it was an older one that didn't have that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, no sleep timer. No. Yeah, it, it would just stay on all day. We'd come mm-hmm. home and it'd be off, but everything else would be on. And it, it uh, if we would have lost power, it was one of those that it, it it didn't shit didn't work out like other stuff that was on. It w- it wouldn't have worked mm-hmm. out. And um, there was the one night that the uh, that I could have sworn that I asked you if like you know if you went into the bathroom and you're like no because I I saw yeah that was fucking creepy. <laughs> that was just creepy. I thought you went into the bathroom. No, no, was... and you were walking out. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Yep. Screw. I remember that. that. Yeah, and I think like within that same week that I saw that, we had like all of a sudden an infestation of termites. Yeah. In that one spot, not not just. No, it was like the whole upstairs. But but where we saw them, it was all of a sudden. Yeah. It was that same week that we saw that that those those came out. Mm-hmm. The fuck. They had to bomb the shit out of that building too. Yeah. Which was great. Yeah, I, I remember that. That's God. That was a long time ago. Yeah, that, that was, was before fucking creepy. we were married. Even that's creepy. Now that I'm thinking back, and before we were just like blowing it off. Mm-hmm. It's fucking creepy. You hear the tapping? Yeah. Fuck. I don't know what. What the hell? Oh, I thought it was funny. Because I, I, 
I specifically like remember seeing this is fucking retarded because most people are gonna think we're nuts right now. That's right. But I remember seeing a little girl. Yeah, that's exactly who I saw. Yeah, yeah. It was a little girl. And uh it was just funny. Or midget. I mean, no, no, it was a little girl. Because, well, I, I figured out that it definitely was a little girl after I had looked up the history of the property. Right. And found that our apartment development and the one next door to us and the lot of land next to us was actually all farmland at one time. And it was owned by one family. And Florida, you could look up fucking everything. Well, anywhere you could look up anything. Right. No, well, like, like, like down to like exactly everything that happened there. Um, and the, I believe it was like a 12 year old girl had died of pneumonia. And that's what it ended up like. It was like, oh, okay, it makes fucking perfect sense now. It's a little fucking 12-year-old being a dickhead, moving shit, turning TVs off. Like, I remember the one time we were upstairs sleeping and a downstairs TV turned it off, and I yelled, shut the fucking TV off, and the TV got shut off. <laughs> so. I don't know. I think I was sleeping for that one. What? It, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, that's a. Fuck that. You know, and I'm, I'm home by myself with the kids during the week. Mm -hmm. This sucks. <laughs> Fucking, I'm never going to sleep in again Ever yeah, That's fine No it's not I got two children in the house And I got to be up until you get home at midnight From, from work now mm -hmm. And then I got to get up at you know 5am for whatever one of the kids Right I guess five hours sleep is okay mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm never going to sleep again <laughs> Alright well I think I'm done for tonight God damn it You done? Uh, I should just say no because I'm not going to sleep anyway. So what the fuck is the point? That's fine. We just talk forever and ever and ever. Wasn't there a guy that did a a donate like a uh they raised money for something by being on air for I don't know. They were talking about it, it was on some podcast. I think it was Joe Rogan's too. Okay. This guy did uh, for a charity. He w he went on air for like it was the world record amount of time. Oh, like seventy two or something hours. He something was. like that, yeah, yeah. and he started like hallucinating and. Mm -hmm. uh, he Doctors was... are telling him he's got to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't sleep for that long too. Or it was so he like was like seven constantly... days. He was awake. Yeah, I don't know how. What would you possibly talk about? I mean, after a couple hours, it's kind of like you just. But he, right. he did it in Times Square, so I guess there's there's plenty of people to talk about. To make fun of a lot of people in Times Square. Yeah, that that's is for really sure. True. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. and um, we're gonna be on uh, uh, that podcast in okay. August. So before so Stephanie <laughs> butchers this, I'm going to take this over. Power cuts shut. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's why I said before you butcher it. Coming up in August, we've mentioned her before. Her name's Heather, and she runs a podcast, The Sunshine and Power Cuts. No. Nope. Yeah, it's the Sunshine and Power Cuts nope. podcast. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. So it is. Uh, anyway. So a couple of months ago, she had done something called the Sunshine Summit. <laughs> Can you just stop? Sorry. And now she's going to be doing it for a second time. And we are actually going to be on her show on August the 11th. That's Saturday at 1030 p.m. It's going to be a live stream for her second time. And she's doing the, the second summit for the one year anniversary of her podcast. And she's bringing on several other podcast people that everyone in the group has become friends and whatnot. And she's decided to have us on as one of the guests, which is absolutely awesome. So we will be on there at 1030 p.m. on August 11th. Yeah, our time, because she's out of New Zealand. So that's her time is a completely different time. Yes, yes. her Yeah. And if you haven't listened to her podcast, I recommend you go listen to it because she's got two different versions. She's got her sunshine episodes, which are all about um, like mental wellness, you know, feeling good about everything. Mm -hmm. And then she's got her power cuts podcast, so power cuts episodes, which are more about the fact that she lives an off the grid life. She has solar panels and she talks about her battery bank expansions and her solar panels that she's using and her whole experience behind that. Hence the power cuts because they have to, yeah, they have to monitor their power usage. Otherwise, they have a power cut and they have no power until the sun comes up. So, which is uh, oh, that's where that oh comes from. Oh God, you just put two and two together, huh? Oh shit, I yes. didn't even realize that. That's really cool. 
Mm-hmm. I would love to be able to live live like off the grid as far as uh, panels and and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not to re- have to rely on, but doesn't some states in some areas make you like you have to be connected to them, even though you're using most your areas own? you have to be connected to the grid, um, just by state laws, federal law. I mean, for the most part, it's a lot of state laws, right? Just because the electric companies are in their pockets. Uh but. Don't it's, you get kickbacks if you if you produce so much that if it's you actually... produce and oh, like if your system goes to full charge, it can depending on if you how you have your system set up, it will actually send energy back to the power company, which will basically make your meter run backwards. Right. So they can owe you money, or what will end up happening is is if you tell them you don't want checks from them because a lot of the power companies do this now, they will hold a reserve. So even though let's say like during the summer. You know, sunny days, day sun's up for fucking 14 hours mm-hmm. a day, whatever. So you're fucking just kicking energy back to them. Right. And they just bank everything. You know, by the time winter comes, shortest days of the year, blah, blah, blah. You're using more power. It's fucking cold out. Right. You know, all that nonsense. You start running down your tally. So. So it's kind of like a credit. Right. Yeah. But the only bad part is a lot of, com- a lot of electric companies no matter what, we'll have a, I believe Florida, it's like 29 just because I know it off the top of my head, it's like $29 a month, no matter what. What? Yes. So wait, even though you're kicking, let's just say you're kicking um, energy back to them, they're right. still going to charge you. You have to surpass that $30 a month. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's the only bad part. Fuck them. But also when you consider Florida, the sunshine, the sunshine state. state, you know, it's fucking hot and sunny all year long. God damn. Except for your three o'clock rainstorm that happens every day because of the sea breeze that Florida but has. But still, that's greedy as fuck to do. It is greedy, yes. But that's whatever they charge. You know, it's like, I think I'm pretty sure that most places, it's a minimum of $30 no matter what. Damn. Because it's like you get, let's say, 3,000 kilowatts for $30. dollars mm mm-hmm. You couldn't, you know, you're not going to be there. Maybe, maybe you're a fucking snowbird. No matter what, if you're a fucking snowbird and you're in New York and you're not using your house down there during the, uh, during the summer, because you're up north during the summer, you're still going to be paying $30 a month. So what a lot of people will do is they'll figure out and say, okay, well, if I set my thermostat during the summer to, let's say 80, just to keep the mildew down, I don't pass my, my, I'm, I'm just... Throwing numbers out, you know, I don't pass my 3,000 kilowatts or whatever the fuck the $30 minimum is. Right. They'll just set their their thermostat to that just to hit the $30 no matter what, which is fine because, I mean, then when you come down there during the winter, everybody up north is freezing their asses off. You're down in Florida, nice and good. Well, I think power companies have a nice uh, little setup as it is. Fucking O&R, remember they overcharged us by like $980? Yes. Mm-hmm. We We didn't have to pay a bill for like three months. Yeah. Yeah, three, yeah. three mm-hmm. four months. Well, I mean, no, the, it wasn't nine. It was like the, six. Their thing up there too, which dollars. which really really aggravated the hell out of a lot of people there, was if you watched oh, your yeah. kilowatt <laughs> per hour charge, <laughs> it would fluctuate. So one month it would be twelve, not twelve, eight. It said like seven point five cents. Yeah, you know, it wasn't high. And all of a sudden, like, oh yeah, dude, dude look, like five hundred in the positive mm-hmm. that they owe us. The next bill, all of a sudden, for some odd fucking reason, your kilowatt was 13.5 cents a kilowatt from seven. So yeah, one month, it, it, it almost doubled. Yeah, yeah. It went from like 7.5 to yeah. 12.5. So we lost all $500 in one month. And when we called to complain about it, we were like, we don't make the price. The state owns the power plants. They make the price. Yeah, they played the uh, the victim. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll we don't blame have... the state. Blame New York. Yeah, we don't have any say in that. We don't get anything yeah. from that. We don't... Yeah, bullshit. I say bullshit on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because please, if you weren't getting anything out of it, then I think you'd be making a little bit more of a stink for Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. But it's no. They, all the top guys are pocketing how much money and, and right. whatever. They're just making sure shit. that you weren't going to stay in the positive Fuck for long. You. Yeah, you know, it seemed like... Every time we went into the positive, I'd I'd watch the kilowatts adjust. Yeah, yeah. Per like what we were the getting set charged. Charge, yeah. And I was like, this is some bullshit right mm-hmm. here. Yeah. And it, you know, it started happening more often after they had to pay us all that money. 
Yeah, yeah. That the, it, it, the one time where we had to pay nothing for three months. It yeah, was great. It, it happened to be, oh, you know, oh, these are the fluctuations happen more. I was like, mm. we joked about it too. After we didn't have to pay that for that three months, I was like, watch, they're gonna bump us up. Fucked. Yeah. Watch. I was joking too, but they actually did it, and I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's fucked up. Yep, absolutely. Oh. But we also lived in the downstate section of New York, where things like that yeah. seem to go, and no one questions it. You know. Yeah. Well, we also we also lived like down the road from one of the highest murder areas. Well, it was the third highest crime rate. In uh, that area. Yeah. And people were getting fucking shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was... Uh, Where Bank of America had armed guards because that bank got robbed so many times. Yeah, that's right. He had, there was always a guard, armed always guard. Always an armed front. guard walking outside with his more multiple guns on him at one time. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Well, that whole bullshit with cops now is just fucking stupid. Well, there are, you know... There are bad, some bad cops for majority. Yeah, no, majority I'm, talking about, good, I'm talking but. about the retards who get pulled over for something just simple. Or they're walking by and they're investigating for something else. And mm-hmm. they, you just happen to be in the area, wrong place, the wrong time. And the cop just asks them to just, can you sit down so we can ask you some questions? And right. that's it. And they want to start mouthing off oh, and yeah. they want to do what they want. And it, it, it escalates. You know, if you just shut the fuck up. You just listen to what they wanted you to do in the first place, then the shit that happens wouldn't have happened. Right. But oh no, people I people want to get on this whole high well, I, and mighty, like, oh no, they don't have a right to do this. Yes, they. That's what they're there for. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, like, people just you have need to. Several just, cases where I mean, there, there are, like I said, there are good cops. There, majority of cops are good people. You know, they well, always have the bad, bad the seed. But honestly, like but, most of those bad seeds are going to be trying to get some money out of it. So yeah, but there's the, your also average people traffic who are stop. trying to make themselves look like the victim. Like there was one last week where the woman claimed that the cop had sexually assaulted her and blah, 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 blah. That police department released his body camera footage. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was the most professional fucking thing you probably ever would see from a cop. This guy's been on the force for like 20 fucking years, accommodations, all this shit. This made this woman look like she was a lion sack of shit. Like, it got to the point where, what's that dude? John King? He, he's part of the whole Black Lives Matter thing. Whatever. He, he's an arrogant asshole. He jumped all over. It was like, oh, this woman said this, blah, blah, blah. As soon as he saw... The fucking video, right. he retracted everything he said. He's like, this woman should be, like, he even went after her, which is very odd well, for him to do that, you know. But he was like, this, I saw the body camera footage. That was a super professional cop, you, super professional stop. This is the cop that people should look to. This is what cops should be like. Did you watch the, uh, I think, uh, Philip DeFranco? Yeah. The Arizona one? Those cops are nuts. No, fuck those two guys in the stairwell. They deserved everything they fucking got. And I'm going to say that two right off. Because they are saying that they used excessive force. Oh, the they dude who looking... wouldn't listen who got his ass whipped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like a kid that doesn't listen. Yeah. If you don't listen enough times, you're going to get your fucking ass whooped until you do listen. Well, the problem is, is that the first guy sat down. And the second one, when the officer's first by himself. Yeah, yeah. Ask him, can you please sit down? Can you please sit down? Can you go over there? Please? And this guy's blowing him off. He's on his phone. He's not doing anything he's saying. Then three other cops are coming into the situation. Mm-hmm. They see the... He's already giving him a hard time. Right. So they don't know why he's giving him a hard time. You'd assume, like, okay, maybe there's a reason for it. Right. And they just want to ask him some fucking questions. Right. So if you're giving him a hard time for just as simple as that, then you're making yourself look guilty. Well, so, well the, 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 you got to remember, is, too, they were also being questioned because... The guy's, ex- the guy's ex-girlfriend was claiming that they were trying to break and enter. Right. So, so right you know, there, you're going to be at every yeah. cop's will of getting your ass whipped. So if he would have just sat down in the first place and then answered whatever questions they had, I bet you anything, none of that would have happened. Right. None of it. But because he wanted to mouth off, because he didn't want to listen, because he wanted to be some hot shit and do whatever the fuck he wants because of all this stuff's going on, like, oh, you can't touch me. No, they, like... How do they know he's not going to turn around and try and go after the cops because of everything that's well, going on? Well, I'm sorry. Not for nothing. That was, did you watch that video? Hell yeah, I did. That one tank of a cop fucking threw that MMA fucking elbow at him. I'm amazed that dude's head didn't break off his shoulders. You know what, though? That, that big black officer was a fucking tank and blasted him. 
But you told me watch his body drop. He was like, Dink, uh, it just I'm fucking sorry. fell over. You know what? I um, <laughs> People should be giving them a little bit more respect than what's been going on. Yeah, same I thing. Agree. Same thing with firemen. You know, they, they, they're running into a goddamn burning building to drag your fucking ass out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, some of you people should have been fucking left in some of those goddamn buildings. Yeah. yeah. Or some of those cops are saving your ass. Maybe they should just, you know, just fucking leave you there. Yeah, well, you know, it, I mean, people right now, it's, it, it, I mean, we've joked around about it before. It was like, it's the whole, you know, it's, it's all about me thing. It's what I want. It's what I feel. It's this, that, it's the other. And it, it, it's, it's, it, it's taking like waves of control over shit and people are just becoming dumb about it. Yeah. You know, I don't think you should be able to do this. Oh, all right. And you mouth off to a cop because you don't think he should be able to sit you to fuck down and. You're being questioned about a possible break and entering, and you ain't listening, and four other cops show up, and you start mouthing your ass off that if someone touches you, you're going to punch them in the mouth. It's a good chance one of them fuckers is a tank who's going to knock you the fuck stupid yeah. and throw you to the ground, which is what they did. And then one while and then he's he, on the ground handcuffed, he starts running his mouth some more. He's still talking shit. Yeah. I at mean, that do point, that shit in the fucking Bronx with some of those crazy ass cops. At that point, you should just shut up. The motherfucker would have stepped on his neck and was like, oh, you're still talking? Let me just squeeze yeah. a little fucking harder, dickhead. I mean, seriously, at that point, maybe you should learn, like, oh, I should I should maybe stop talking at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. But no, if you still wanted to, to he's still running his mouth, and he's running his mouth even more. Yeah, and it's so, on body cameras. All these cops have body cams. Yeah. So, so I, I saw absolutely zero ex- excess in that, because he was giving Well, they're, they're being plenty questioned, of, because plen- that's also of, the cops that, where the one cop was, like, yelling orders at this drunk dude in a hotel, and, uh... It kind of confused the other cop that was there, like, holding a fucking, I think it was an Mm -hmm. AR-15, police issued, whatever, you know, at the guy, and the guy wouldn't listen, and the guy wouldn't listen, and this and that, and he's drunk, and the guy's fucking moving, and the the cops kill him, you know, because the guy didn't listen, because the the sergeant who was yelling shit, and then fucking, whatever, it was a whole big stupid scenario, it was all over the fucking news, the cop lost his job, so on, but it's the same police department. This that police department has been now in the news three fucking times. But you don't know the other stress that they're they're facing on a well, daily basis. No, 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 that, that it kind of leads up why. to this point. You only see that moment at that time. Right. You don't know if they had any other encounters with these people. You don't know what right. else has gone on in the area. But mm-hmm. people only like to focus on oh they did this to him. You don't like they don't have the bigger picture of what's going on. And no, you know they don't. I'm always they always have to react in a situation. I think I'm always unless you hear a cop taking bribes. I think I'm I I will always be on the side of of law enforcement. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I don't know. I have a big thing with that. I watched that whole thing on Netflix with Flint Town. Right. And uh, you know that 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 town went to shit. And these cops are trying, and and they just keep cutting budget. They keep cutting cops, and yeah. the people in the the town just they give them so much shit because oh, how come it takes you so long here? They got fucking. They're getting layoffs because the you know their budget's getting cut, and these people are like, oh, well, what do you you know where have you been? And it's like okay, because there's a hundred other calls for mm-hmm. like three cops, right? That they're all on by themselves. I don't know. I just uh, I don't fucking know. Oh, I don't know. I got you know, and I got some other words on some other things, but I'm gonna keep some of them to myself because I do filter out on some things. I do. Uh, I do have like a tiny filter. You do have a tiny. It's filter? like a filter that has like a lot of large holes in it, but every so often, <laughs> it'll uh, it'll catch some of the the stray. No, it, it, you know, but I mean that that is the big thing though. I mean that that police department is is under like any time that Arizona police department does something right now, they're gonna be in the fucking news. Anytime. Mesa, Arizona. Yeah. It did, I mean, like, as soon as that shooting thing happened, three months later, they were in the news again for excessive force. And now this thing, even though the douchebag was running his mouth, not listening, the one guy, like you said, cop told him to sit down. He was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And he just sat down. He sat down. Nothing happened to him. No. He oh, didn't get gee. his ass whipped. Gee, look at that. Yeah, look yeah. how easy that went. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he you listened. Think his, you think his friend would fucking learn. You know? Yeah, yeah. There's a reason you got lumped up and the other guy's fine, just sitting there. I mean, they never even threw the other dude in handcuffs. He was just chilling like, oh. Yeah. And you could see his look on his face, too, through the whole video, like, he's going to get his ass whipped. Mm-hmm. He knows it. He's he's doing it on purpose. Some people you need know. their ass kicked to learn. Yeah, it is. It's, it's so true. And now that dude's going to get a, you know, a resisting arrest charge and all this other shit, depending on... You know how this gets twisted and whatever the evidence they got know, the, from the body the cams. And- publicity should. All these other people should not even 
uh, be involved in anything that goes on. Unfortunately, they are. But they should have no say in what happens. It should be between the cops with their uh, their officer, like their mm-hmm. um, their supervisor or whatever right. they're commanding. Right, commanding officer. Yeah. Sergeant, um, lieutenants, whatever. And that's it. And, and the whatever well, judge. The thing I don't like right now is... And it's a huge thing with a lot of media things and a lot of government institutions and whatever is, let's say, with the cops. Mm-hmm. And just use them, for example, or firemen, whichever, whoever. Uh, they're releasing videos while an event is still in investigation. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm bullshit. sorry. The person who leaks that fucking video should, go to jail. should be fired immediately. Oh, I said, I'm should like, you should go to fucking, jail. You're like, oh, just fired. Yeah, well, fired, arrested, <laughs> whatever. If you're jail. releasing information that's under investigation, that technically means it's really not for public fucking view. Yeah, because they don't really know the outcome you know. yet. And I don't, I, I don't care about, you know, some, someone who's probably listening is like, oh, that's what you probably think about the shit with the president. I don't give a fuck. If it's something is under, under investigation, public view can kind of tamper with how everything gets seen. Because it's not a you know, final thing yet. Well, everyone's flipping now about, oh, you know, the, the Stormy Daniels thing with Trump. I'm tired of hearing it. Well, they, I'm sorry, not for nothing. If he didn't admit right now or during the election yeah. that he happened to bang a fucking porn star, um, it's no one's fucking business anyway. Who cares? If he wants to pay a porn star 130000 to jump on his junk, who the fuck is it your business? But it happened how long ago? Yeah, but there's a, people are just losing. Who gives well, a shit? He didn't admit that he had sex with a porn star. Who gives a shit? So your fucking business? Who he's banging? I no, mean, that it's has not. absolutely nothing to do no, with any of the policies or anything to do. And you're like, oh, if he lied, every politician lies. So if you think one politician over another one doesn't lie, oh, yeah. then you you're living in some fucking dream world. Well, that's the thing too. Is like, I mean, it may it may got worse like this week. Now Bill Clinton was on. Oh, and Jesus. I know we're way off the whole topic of archery, so... He's a party you, animal. If you want to tune out, folks, please. Go right ahead. Um, he's a fucking party animal. Well, he's a nut. You know, he, <laughs> Look like, who he's married he to. He had mentioned this whole, the whole Me Too thing, the sexual harassment thing with all women, whatever. You know, I, I, I really hate the fact that some of these women took so long to, to speak up because right now it's just a fucking runaway train of, I think I was sexually assaulted. Anyway. You know what? If you're on that whole Me Too bullshit and you're bringing up something that happened a decade ago, you know what? So sorry, but you're a little fucking well, late brain, for that train. Uh, it's a proven fact that your brain can make up events. You, you can't remember something exactly. No, from 20 you could years basically ago. your brain could actually rewire itself to right. think that something yeah, else exactly. happened. That something different happened, or you can convince yourself it, that something. It's happened. a memory of something that right. is is not always entirely true, and this is actually scientifically proven. Right, but and, anyway, uh, it, he he was talking about the whole thing with Monica Lewinsky. Right, you know, and I mean, you know, and he props to the women and this and that. You know, well, you know, Mr. President, do you owe Monica an apology? No, <laughs> Mike, and you have to look Good at it like he still has balls the size of Texas. This fucking dude, hell yeah, the whole time. All right, you know, the whole thing with Trump. Fine, Trump. If he did, whatever. Don't care if he did. If he banged a porn star, props to him for banging a porn star. Fuck it, you know, whatever, you know. But that was. Ten years ago, whatever it was. But that right there should Bill be stopped. Bill Clinton was Who throwing cigars in interns' vaginas and then smoking them in the Oval Office while he was president, getting blowjobs, throwing shots all over fucking women's mm-hmm. dresses and shit. You know, you want to be pissed about something? Be pissed about the guy who did it while he was president. Whatever the dude did before he was president is none of your goddamn concern. No, but people like to get in other you people's know. business all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's the whole social media. Be like, oh, look what I'm doing. Do you, yeah. you want to know what the fuck I'm doing? No, I'm not. I'm, yeah. I'm going think- on Facebook day by day, removing every fucking tag that someone po- tagged me in. They think that because they have a profile online, they get to put go in everyone else's business, and they yeah, have a yeah. say in everyone else's shit, and they, you know, no. Just, yeah. Who gives a shit what he did how know. many years ago? Honestly, yeah. that means they just have nothing else to bitch about. It's like, you know, well, everyone, like, when I remember when Bill was trying to get elected and shit like that, and I'm not going to knock Bill Clinton at all. He did a great job for this country's economy. He really yeah. did. I don't give a shit that he was trying to go for the record and try and bang more bitches than JFK did in the fucking well, White House. Well, look at his Fuck wife. It. I mean, he wasn't getting anything there. <laughs> exactly. You're right. Really, God. <laughs> she was probably also with the interns. Probably. Um, you know, but it it it's just, I, I don't care. I don't care who you're sleeping with. 
No. It's none of your business. I don't know if it's just odd that maybe just I'm 40 or whatever, and I grew up at a time in New York City where the best thing you can do for yourself was mind your fucking business. Yeah. That's what it was. It should still be that you way. Know? And it's not. It's it's everyone's got to be in everyone's bit. Look what I'm doing and look what I'm doing. Oh, well, look, I'm going to tag you in something so you should be like me. Fuck you. That's when they, they, no. uh, they tell women that if they're getting attacked to yell fire instead of help because, you know. The whole like mind your own well, business. Well, I mean, like there was there was one. Oh fuck, my yeah. Well, that is true. During the whole mind your own business is because if people heard help, they just walked by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas they used to tell people to yell fire because well, then people the, would be nosy and look like toward you know fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just I. I think some of the stuff is just. Stupid. Unneeded. Yeah, yeah, it really it's is. All it's unneeded. all the attention. You know what? 80% of what's out there is unneeded. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, but then again, Donald Trump media... Jr. is getting ridiculed right now oh. because, like, oh, his wife filed for divorce. Leave the dude alone. Why has it got to be, like, headlining news that DT Jr. is getting divorced? I think they headline about his haircut. You know? They, no, they well, headlined one day about his haircut or some shit like that. Well, they, they always make fun of Trump Sr.'s haircut. They did, did, but no, yeah. they, you know, it, it, you know, Junior's a nice dude. I mean, he, he's just, he posts pictures. I mean, all the pictures the dude posts, he's with his kids and he's smiling and he's makes sure his kids are happy and this and that. And, you know, right now, fine. If he's getting divorced, whatever, he's getting divorced. I don't care. That's his personal life. The thing that I think that I see that's kind of like. He he's like making sure things kind of work from what it seems, mm-hmm. like the things he's putting out there, you know, making sure everyone knows he's still being a part of his kid's life. And yeah. he's making sure they have shit. He, you know, he's trying to show, I, I, I don't know if, if that's what he's doing. He's trying to show like a good example or whatever, you know, and like people ridicule Ivanka Trump. I mean, if you're trying to set a woman up to be a fucking president, Trump's doing that to his daughter. Right. You know. She's in foreign policy deals, and she's trying to make sure this happens, and she's super professional, and she's polite to everybody. Good for her, because I know, couldn't fucking deal right. with that shit. And people, I mean, you have these the stupid fucking comedians. Samantha B called her some, called her a cunt the other day, mm. you know, about her father's well care of misplaced immigrant children. Oh, 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 what is he supposed to be responsible for everybody? So we're going to just let, like, blame one person for everything. You know, and the media was throwing around a photo of kids that looked like they were in a dog pen mm-hmm. or a dog kennel, like you'd see at the ASPCA. And, like, look, this is the conditions of what's going on in the country right now with Trump leading. No, it's not. But no, the funny part was when they exposed the photo and it was actually, um, actually, I was thinking it was CNN, mm-hmm. shockingly enough, who was like, oh, you guys Fucked up. That photo is from Obama when Morons. Obama was president. And, you know, it's just it's, it's just a lot of like, oh, let's point fingers. We don't have to investigate anymore. We can just say shit and everyone thinks it's fucking true. Fuck Listen, it. the day that they get into office, that the next day, everything is, does not get fixed. No. It doesn't get fixed that quickly. Like I that, mean, right now, I mean, th- this year our economy has gone up. Yeah. I mean, I work for a major, major company and we are hiring like crazy Across the entire U.S. Yeah. Because shipping has gone up. Mm-hmm. Our freight is not slowing down, which means consumers are buying more shit. Listen, so far since he's been in office, it's directly affected us in a positive way. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Right. That we've had a direct effect from a president, and it's been in a positive way. Mm-hmm. I so, agree. you know what? All you uh, it's shit talkers out there... Jump off a cliff. Well, I I just don't care about what's going on in the personal life. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, well, everyone knows he's a no bullshit person. That's obvious. He talks shit to people. He does blurt out at the mouth with some things that are like, ah, that doesn't sound right. But in the end, he doesn't hold back. You know, I mean, now, I mean, he he's about to set history. Him and um, Kim Jong Un, the, the dude from North Korea. They're meeting up with each other, and then he's going to have a, a, a meeting with Putin. So, like, the biggest U.S. rivals, he's, like, 
kind of like getting some shit resolved. I don't know. You're you're you pretty know. much talking to yourself at this point because politics. Yeah. So I get bored and kind of over with real quick. No, I just like the like the main things like this that's going on. Our economy's up. You know, Obama had ruined our reputation with Russia, and he's trying to fix that. But meanwhile, the Democrats are all screaming about collusion. Whatever. I never you know. voted for him. So. Sorry, I'm I'm me in politics. I'm just right. not even into. <laughs> so, all right, let's uh, just let's just end this now before we get any more off of what we're going on. I think like a half hour ago we were going to end it. Yeah, I know. I was trying to. And That's then right. Got into a different topic. That's okay. So, all right, folks, we will be back next week, or if we end up being able to go to the range, maybe we'll finally do a road clip from the road since we haven't done one in a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, everyone, go out, have fun.